My eyes are puffy? The star of the world? finally over all the good stuff is waiting for you oh my god <laughs> whoop whoop that's the sound of the police huh <laughs> that's the sound of the geese finish her That's the sound of the police, but I've been waiting for this sound to pull up in front of my house all afternoon, and nobody ever did. So I guess we're just going to stream our usual Friday stream then. Hello, girl gang. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Nice to see you uncuffed and not needing bail money. <laughs> what a fool. We have a lot to get to today, and we're going to be working our way backwards, okay? We're going to start with the most recent crazy, which, for anybody who doesn't know, was Chantal having a complete meltdown at the end of her stream today, rage quitting, and going off in a huff to, uh, quote, call the cops on me, <laughs> okay? Then, I guess that call didn't go so well because she was posting up on her community tab an actual book. Y'all, she posted up an actual book. It's so long on her community tab. And the whole incident today is uh, triggered by our thumbnail from this stream right now. And the thumbnail from today's stream has to do with the stupid crap that she was accusing me of last night on her stream. Whew. So like I said, we have a lot to get to today. Kim, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really appreciate it. Man, that was a, a, a winded mouthful. Okay, so um, long story short, for anybody who missed Chantal last night, uh, some of the trolls in Chantal's chat doing the thing that they always do, got her going, got her worked up, and said that a picture on Kiwi Farms was posted by me. It was obviously me driving by her mother's house the other day when I had gone to visit Shannon. Now, the picture was Google Street View. It was a picture from Google Street View. There are actually two pictures up there. Uh, I, I, It's like a different angle from the Street View and then the picture that got her into a huff last night. And she's claiming that this is a picture that I took days ago when I went to visit Shannon in Cornwall. Here's the problem. <laughs> Had she not just listened to her moronic chat and actually seen the photo herself, she would have noticed that in both of the pictures, you could see the grass on the front of the lawn, both of the pictures, visible grass, the picture that got her all huffy yesterday, there was a light dusting of snow and a pumpkin at the neighbor's door. If you go around cornhole right now, it's like snowbanks everywhere. I, I was talking to Shannon about this when I first got to her house. I'm like, what the hell is this city? They don't even remove your snow. Like where the hell do people park? It was literally the first conversation we had as she met me at the door. I was so dumbfounded by all the freaking snow everywhere. 
everybody's lawn is piled up with lots of snow. There are massive snow banks all over the city. They don't move their goddamn snow. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, all that to say, you don't see any grass. You don't see any walkway leading up to anybody's house. Those pictures are clearly not taken in the last few days. And another thing, you know how uh, on Google, when you go to like Street View and whatever, if you pass a car on the Street View, the plate is like blurred out in that way that Google does it. Well, the plates are blurred out on the freaking picture too. So what's she accusing me now of? I have to be the one driving the Google car that goes around everybody's neighborhood. I now drive that car. I'm also a time traveler who's able to go back to what probably was end of October, beginning of February of last year to take that picture. You know, uh, I, I don't, I don't even know what she's saying. I, oh, oh. And I'm able to melt all the snow in cornhole just to get that picture to then go and what plant onto Google in the hopes that Kiwi Farms would get it and post it up. Oh, I was also accused yesterday by her chat of being Kiwi Farms. I don't even know what that means, but I mean, like, they're all fucking lunatics. And this woman, instead of looking for herself, goes on a very insane tirade about me last night. All kinds of wild defamatory allegations and acted like a complete fucking dick. And then even when the chat, at a, a certain point, people in the chat start pointing out that like, she's wrong. She doesn't stop. She certainly doesn't apologize. She keeps going. Why would she keep going? Oh, that's right. There's a massive scandal going on right now in the community having to do with her husband's fake business or fraudulent business, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. We've got that brewing. We've got the cat drama going. And this lunatic is trying to figure some kind of massive deflection, massive distraction away from the actual issues going on, which is his fraudulent business and what she's doing to the cats. So lunatic, you can sit there. You can spew all the shit you need to. And you know what? Tonight, we're going to entertain your garbage. You know I love a raid stream on a Friday. You know I'm going all the way in on this video. But the point is, don't think you're fooling anybody for a second that this is actually legit or you're mad about this. We know what you're really mad about. There's not a deflection big enough in the world to make us forget about the cats. And we're going to keep looking into what the fuck is going on with your husband's seemingly fraudulent business. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here. Everybody rubbing their three-day weekends into my face. We don't have a three-day weekend here. Damn it. There's no uh, family day in Quebec. They, we have St. Jean Baptiste, but it's not now. FFG Moon. Yeah, that's me, apparently. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Julie, hey, girl. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Okay, so, so here's the thing. We're going to go in backwards, like I said. So I, I don't even, you know what? We're going to start with the last seven minutes of her stream from today. Then we'll take a look at a little bit of the book that she put out on the community tab. And then we're going to go back and react to yesterday's stream that really started this whole fucking thing with her big, stupid fucking mouth. Hold on. Let me get the tab. So just to set this up, this again, this was just a few hours ago. Chantal was live you know, doing Chantal stuff, being boring as hell. We were live on Twitch at the same time. We weren't watching this because it was so boring. She was sitting there stuffing her face, stuffing her face and blowing smoke up her own ass. I was not here for it today. But the last seven minutes of this stream, very interesting. Is that your mom's house in FFG Slimmy? Please go look. Um, uh, Tracy, I just can't. I can't deal with her shit. <laughs> oh, maybe I could call the cops right now, actually. Yeah, I can't look. I'm on my phone. I love how she thinks that just because it's public, that her putting it as a thumbnail and harassing me on her live stream is not criminal activity. Where's the harassment? I didn't put it in my thumbnail to harass you at all. You made some pretty defamatory allegations against me yesterday having to do with this photo. 
this photo that I used in my thumbnail. Why did I use that photo today? To prove you wrong. That photo proves that, no, I'm not the one who took the photo. I certainly didn't take it a few days ago. And if you had learned to shut your big fucking fat face, I wouldn't have had to use that photo to defend myself today. Do you understand? I mean, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. If you're going to throw all kinds of crazy shit like that out, girl, the proof is in that photo. Was I not supposed to use that photo to prove the point that I wanted to make about the snow, the the blurred out license plates and the fucking pumpkin at your neighbor's door? Use your brain next time if you can. Ava, thank you for the super chat. All right. So I'll be calling the cops after this. I just, I'm not afraid for my family. I'm just like, <clears throat> she used a Google photo. Okay. Well, that Google photo, we'll see. You still, the, the point is you're using it for malicious intent. So. So which one is it now? Cause now it seems like you're trying to change your story. Is it a Google photo or was it me driving by your mother's house with Shannon the other day, which is what you alleged. It can't be both clearly because of the lack of snow. Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Thank you for the super chat. Don't worry about it. With your condition, you shouldn't eat pickles. If you're eating them for the probiotics, then get them in pill form. Oh, pickle. Well, the thing is, Elizabeth Nirvana, I eat way too many pickles. Yes. It looks like a townhome with that. Yeah, no, somebody just confirmed that she has a picture of my mom's. Yeah. So she thinks it's, she, so people think it's okay for her, just because it's on Google, for her to bring it to the attention to her hateful audience of 4,000 people, where my mom lives, um, what her house looks like. Great. I'll be calling the cops right now. Actually, Brainiac, because you can't control your addictions, you were in such a rush to order your food the other night that you didn't mute yourself and you said your mother's address while you were at your mother's house on live stream because your fat little fingers couldn't even mute, mute yourself fast enough to order that food. So you just did that. Like in the last few days since you've been at your mother's house, that's number one. And number two, I'm going to repeat that had you not made all those defamatory and wild allegations against me last night, I would never have to have used that photo as my thumbnail today to prove you wrong. My silver unicorns, thank you for the super chat. Happy early birthday to you. I hope you have a great weekend. Can somebody take a screenshot of the live with the thumbnail? Wait, wait, that was way too nice. You want to be called names? You effing beach, silver unicorn beach, 40 year old beach, birthday weekend beach. Also, that she can't delete it. Why would I delete it? <laughs> it is, Tracy. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a Google pick. And the Google pick is from probably from Kiwi Farms, which is doxing. Exactly. Bitch, what? <laughs> Let's follow the logic here or try to. The Google picture is probably from Kiwi Farms, which is doxing. Which one is it? Did I put the photo on Kiwi Farms? Did I drive by your home and get that photo, your mom's home, whatever, and get that photo? Or is it from Google? Which one is it? Also, my friend sent me a side-by-side uh, -side comparison. The Google Earth picture, Google Street picture of my mom's driveway, uh, the snow was different. There was a different color car in the other side. So it's not the same. So somebody... That's right. But again, you didn't bother looking at either one of those pictures, did you? Because there's two pictures up on Kiwi Farms. And here's the catch. Although, yes, there are two pictures. The second picture that you're now referencing has even less snow in it than the first one does. That one looks literally like the middle of summer. So am I a time traveler now, Chantal? I went back to the summer with Shannon in my fucking DeLorean and we snapped this picture to terrorize you with now. We actually drove by my mom's house and did that. <clears throat> okay, well, take a screenshot if somebody can and of the upcoming live, I'm going to call the cops. Yeah. That's the sound of no one cares. No one fucking cares. And she rage quit this stream to go and call the cops and then post it up on her community tab, licking her little wounds because no one fucking cares, Chantal. Hello, police. I'd like to report French fried girls being a bully on the internet. Get the fuck out of here. Stop wasting people's time, you fucking lunatic. 
Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. So it is creepy. It's like, what's your point with this? Do you see what she's like? My point is clear. The point was there's no way I took that picture a few days ago when you can see the grass and a pumpkin at the neighbor's house. Again, if your loud mouth hadn't said all it had last night, I wouldn't have had to make that point this morning. Like, and you people support this. I'm literally on here talking about my life, eating breakfast. And this loser actually has the nerve to do that. All right. Um, does anyone know like where she lives? The cops, I'm sure the cops will find her. Oh, so there you go again. Just, just a sidebar to everything she said about me yesterday and everything. You've been trying to dox my family, now dox me, get your little Beezer lunatics and your fucking pissy poos to do a little doxing for you, Chantal. Fuck all the way off, okay? You're no victim. You're a fucking asshole. Nobody gives a shit if your mother's fucking picture's on the internet or the picture of her house or whatever. If you learned how to control your big mouth and you hadn't doxxed her address and then you hadn't shot your fucking shit last night about me, the picture wouldn't be up. It's just that simple. It's on you as usual. Action, reaction. Asshole move, consequence. Loyalty Beezer, even if she hates you, she should be adult enough not to use that picture as a thumbnail. What if she it was her dad's house? Old picture, not wrong. Yes, KB. Thank you for being a loyalty Beezer. Ready, set, rebees. Okay, thanks, Tracy. You see. Oh, I'm supposed to give a shit? <laughs> you find my dad's house fucking picture? Use it as your thumbnail. I know you would, Chantal. You know why? Because on October 4th, 2022, your fourth day of a very low effort uh, vlogtober, you used a picture, didn't you? A picture that you got on the internet that went way below the belt, didn't you, Chantal? Who was that picture of? Oh, that's right. It was my abuser, my ex. You used that as your thumbnail on October 4th. You weren't the only person who used that in their thumbnail. That grudge will never die, okay? Ever. You think it's okay to reach into people's shit and put up shit like that? And what, no one, no one else is allowed to strike back? <laughs> You don't get to be the asshole and then play victim. You roll around in the mud with the rest of us assholes. Remember that. Moonface Pondu, thank you for the super chat. You took a screenshot. Where did you send it? Oh, somebody sent it to me. Thank you. You may not want to go to your mom's house, but somewhere else could find someone else could find it. Exactly. Exactly. Like. You have, like, people are, like, actually, like, you're accusing her of driving by. You owe them an apology. Excuse me? They were in, uh, just, I can't wait to call the cops. Please make your own health a priority. Yes, exactly. Call the cops for what? Finish that sentence, you dipshit. They were in what? They were in Shannon's house, getting nice and minty, having a good laugh, nothing to do with you at all, chilling in the same town that you happen to go with no warning. Hmm? Remember, that means Shannon had a plan to get together. Nobody knew you were going to Cornhole. When you popped on live from Cornhole, that's when everyone found out you were going to Cornhole that day. What am I? Oh, am I supposed to be a mind reader now too? So I'm the Google car driver. I'm a fucking time traveler. And I'm also a mind reader of corn. Exactly. That p &V is my priority right now. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. By step, you know. You have screenshots? Somebody sent them to me, JJ. Just thank you so much. My email is bigbeautifulmia at gmail.com, but Motel 6 Montreal. It's, that's not obsessed? Yeah, that's obsessed. She wouldn't be laughing if someone took a picture of her house. Exactly. It's dangerous. Yeah, it is. You're targeting my family. So actually, yeah, that's criminal. Yeah, oh, oh, oh the prosecutor has decided that is criminal. You kind of put your family in the crosshairs when you number one dox them and then number two shoot your mouth the way you did yesterday. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Criminal harassment. They called, they said that. They're like, um, whenever you decide you want to do something about it, just give us a call back. Cause I at the time they were at my house about Natured. So oh, sure, 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 sure. That's what the Ottawa police told you. Whenever you're ready, ma'am. Sorry, not sorry. When you're ready to, to file those charges against that big, bad asshole in Montreal. No, no, not your alleged abuser. 
the French fried fatty who talks mad shit about you on the internet. You just give us a call back. We'll come right back and you can file some more false police reports. Okay? The fact that everyone is saying Frenchie wouldn't do that. Are you kidding? She wouldn't do that. Are you kidding? She's the only one who's been that invasive in my life with proof of it. She's shown up at the thing. She's done many things. Name one more, you fucking idiot. I showed up at a fatty fashion show 17 minutes away from my own house in my own city. A public event that was, my understanding, supposed to be a parade. And I was supposed to be, one, you know, one of a crowd and not one of three fucking spectators to this shit, okay? Listen, if you wanted to do your little fatty fashion show without being bothered, you shouldn't have plastered it all over trying to get attention for it. There's nothing criminal about showing up to a place in your own fucking city. Okay. Name anything else that I've done, you sociopath, because you came to my city four times a week, high on cocaine, flying down the street that you thought I lived on to carry. And then you had the audacity one night, at, what, after midnight to be at the julep and to cross the street and park under a hotel where you thought I lived. That sounds like kind of harassment to me too. The way you've spoken about me yesterday alone sounds kind of like a fucking stalker, Chantal. You're bordering on stalker. I know you want me, but this is getting fucking weird. You put my phone number on the internet. You gave it to your so-called abuser to harass me all day long while you did the typing. You also admitted that on live stream. So actually, you were the one harassing me all day long. I don't know. Do, do, do you really want to play this fucking game, Chantal? You also, let's not forget, just days ago, threatened to pop me in my face. <laughs> as if you could to be invasive in my life are you kidding no they don't need to see where my mom lives especially her hate mob so miss movie buff thank you for the super chat now i have to deal with that you know what i mean like i had so many things to do and now i have to deal with this real life harassment shit Oh, oh, play me the world's saddest song on the world's tiniest violin. No one fucking cares. She's using her platform to encourage this behavior. Exactly. So I'm going to actually message um, YouTube again. They were supposed to get back to me. The person I talked to was like, yeah, I just saw her page. It is um, a hate channel. It's not criticism, blah, blah, blah. She knows that we've all like dealt with like creator support before, right? <laughs> she doesn't have a YouTube manager. There's nobody going to give you answers like, oh yeah, I saw their page. That's a hate page. You talking to YouTube are talking to the same creator support chat that any one of us is talking to who has less than 100,000 subs. You understand? They don't say things like that. They spit out generic answers to you and tell you where to find forms to fill out and shit. You are so full of shit and only your Beezers buy it. Trips the light. Thank you for the super chat. I'm going to send it to the internal team. Well, and they're going to get back to you. I haven't heard anything yet. So this is more proof. I'm like, how many times do I have to fucking email you people? Like. How many times do I have to fucking email you people? Like. <laughs> she wants to run YouTube. Well, Susan just quit. Maybe they'll hire this dipshit to run it. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Lolo. She doesn't realize that even though she would not cause any physical harm, there are people out there crazy enough to do it. She's promoting it. Exactly. She's. She doesn't give a fuck. How's that? Hmm? I, I don't know. She she really thinks anyone else cares. Chantal, no one cares. No one fucking cares outside of you and Shmi. Do you understand? No one. <laughs> Literally no one. Something RV. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, yeah, so far it reminds me a lot of my living room. Got to tell you perpetuating the hate against me with her live streams every day and harassment and lies and bullying and rumors. Oh, the rumors. Kind of like the rumors that you've been perpetuating against me for the past six months that I murdered two dogs, I murdered an ex-boyfriend, and that I'm a child groomer. Those kind of rumors? You fucking psychopath. So she start, gets people riled up. And then her hate mom, she shows them this information about me and my family. Like, 
Don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody is. <sighs> if they continue to follow and talk to Allah, they're just a part of all this after that cash grab. I hope the Mounties arrest her. <laughs> what if she actually does something to hurt your family? Well, that's the thing. Like, who knows? She's nuts. You know what I mean? Obviously. No sane person. Like, it's Friday at, like, 2. Are you at your job? No, you're posting pictures of my family's house online. You sick. Are you at your job, you fucking slob? Or did you just roll out of bed, slap on a filthy hijab, and go back downstairs to stuff your face? Don't worry about my job. For real, for real, girl. I, I got it figured out real good right now, okay? Where's your job? Where's your man? It's it's two in the afternoon. What red light lit room is he fucking some other girl in right now? Do you know where uh, Salad El Salad is right now? Hmm. Oh, may, may, maybe he's working on his little WhatsApp scam. So many options. Wow. Sick idiots. Anyway, I'm not going to give. I like your name. Shantala ain't no bala. Thank you for the super chat. Her attention online ever anymore, because whenever I do and I address this drama, it gives her more content. So that's why she's doing it. She's like a child. She's a petulant child who needs to get attention any way they can. So what do you do with children who want attention? You ignore them. Wow. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what to tell you. We don't call you Chantaldler for nothing. Ma'am, the projection is real right now. <laughs> so, yes. All right. So, I'm going to get off here, call the cops, and I'll be back later. Bye, guys. She's getting out of here, calling the cops, and she'll be back later. And she was so excited because she really thought she did something right there. <laughs> Something tells me the cops told her to fuck off because she came back with a pretty psychotic uh, community tab post. Nikki Finn, thank you for the super chat. Oh, oh, community tab. Here we go. Nope, nope. Too many tabs. Here we go. Now, listen, this is a whole ass fucking book. We are not reading the whole book. I don't care about her novels, okay? We're going to cherry pick the good stuff. <laughs> uh... I don't feel like going live. I have too much going on and I am just done with addressing anything that could potentially fuel this anymore. Any attention that includes any legal actions or reporting with YouTube I have done. Shut the fuck. It's literally like a year and a half. I hear the same thing all the time with this lunatic. Report it to YouTube. You don't know what goes on to behind the scenes. Blah, 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 blah. As if anybody cares. Uh, da, da, da. Wait, wait. Every single little piece of drama or response or self defense I communicate with the police online only gives wait the pu oh, the public <laughs> online only gives people like FFG more fodder to continue their crap, and I will not do it. I have never, I have never once instigated hate against this person. Oh, really, dip shit. Do you think accusing somebody of murdering two dogs? Isn't inciting hate against someone? Do you think calling somebody a child groomer isn't inciting hate against someone? Get your fat head out of your fat ass and open your fucking ears, Chantal. What you have done is dangerous behavior. Acting like a victim when you go around literally trying to burn people the worst possible way you can, you are no victim. You're the asshole we've always known you to be. You're the asshole we always accuse you of being, and you will never fucking change because a shit leopard can't change its spots. Ooh, she got me pissed off today. <laughs> uh, reaction channels and hate channels are two different things. I have never made a channel about anyone else, let alone streaming for hours a day about someone targeted. Oh, really? Because it seems like you stream about me every fucking day now because you can't get a view any other way. It seems like I'm the only content you got. I'm the only way to get your, your, your views, keeping this fucking drama going, making drama out of nothing like you did yesterday with that fucking picture. This is about you making a little money. But then when you eat the shit the next day, you're going to play like some kind of fucking 
battered victim? Get the fuck out of here. You don't get to take death blows the way you do and then run off to your community to have like the fucking chicken that you are, Chantal. If you want to dish it, you better get ready to eat it. And the way you dished it last night, bitch, I have a lot to feed you today. Do you understand? Whew. I'm skipping all this boring shit. I don't even care. You want to go and read it? It's up on her stupid shit. Anytime I have addressed this single white female is in response or felt self-defense only. Let's go all the way back to the night that she doxed my phone number because I wasn't hateful at all, at all to her before that night. I literally tried to warn her that the crackhead who was trying to use her for rent money had shanked his ex-girlfriend and gone to jail for two years minus a day and that her fat ass wouldn't be able to get up and run away from him when he got stabby with her. That warranted my fucking phone number getting doxxed on the internet that day and that fucking crackhead harassing me all day. Remember who made it hateful. Your response is never in self-defense. You fucking started shit, bitch, and you can't handle it now. Not my problem. Uh, regardless if this lunatic claims their picture from the thumbnail is from Google Earth, doesn't matter. Uh, it's from Google Street Views. Learn something. <laughs> It is still creepy and inappropriate for you to post that online for thousands of people to potentially harass my family. Oh, kind of like when you put my fucking ex-boyfriend's picture up as your thumbnail after claiming to be the abuse victim for the better part of two years. Yeah, though, no, that wasn't creepy at all. You psycho, man. It's completely psycho. I will never give up fighting this deranged individual, but it will all happen offline. I swear you will never ever hear me mention this weirdo or anyone else ever again. No more rages from me. They are literally invisible to me now. I deeply regret not doing this sooner, believe me. As for my supporters, I would appreciate not hearing about what they are saying or be sent pictures, etc. as I will just close my social media for now, if needed, and upload and bees. So, of course, naturally, I am being said if any, uh, and that being said, if anyone mentions drama or any online bullying channels, etc., I will block you immediately. <laughs> fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. Ma'am. Oh, just the, the part that I missed here at the top, something about, uh, wait, 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 wait. She, she addressed the picture and I skipped right over it. Stupid me. What, the one photo posting on a hate forum of my mom's home, there's actually two photos, but whatever, with the car out front is nothing like the Google Earth pic. This one was clearly a drive-by, and as opposed to showing directly the front of the house, the Google Earth pic also has a different car and snow amount than the hate forum pic. That's right. Like I said, the hate forum pic, that second picture, that's not the dead on, it's the different angle. There's no snow at all. It's lush green grass. It's like the middle of summer. The picture she's referring to and was last night, there's a light dusting of grass, uh, of uh, snow on the grass, like I said, and a pumpkin in the door of the neighbor's home. Clearly not taken recently. Uh, how is it far-fetched for me to accuse an obsessed person who has gone real life before, has a hate hard-on for me and my family, and who was in Cornwall the same day that picture was taken? What? To be the one to do this. Who the fuck knows what day that picture was taken? Who? Literally, who the fuck knows? It certainly wasn't taken the other day. And that's the day that I was in Cornhole. Get the fuck over yourself. Do you understand? Like seasons, when you look out your window now, Chantal, do you see all the snow? You were just at your mother's. Didn't you notice all the snow in the front? Are you going to play so fucking brand new and act like you didn't see the picture that was posted on Kiwi Farms? You know damn right now that you're just double and triple and quadrupling down on being wrong. But you're happy to do so because you really do think that this is distracting everybody from Salad's fraudulent business and the fact that you're trying to euthanize the cat. It won't from either one of those things. Do you understand that? <laughs> Not even a chance, girl. Jill, thank you for the super chat. When she figures out Google Street View is this wingnut is going to call the cops on Google. Can you imagine? Hello, police? Yes, they're taking pictures in front of my house. <laughs> it's, it's the little Google car that goes around. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. The other house pick was probably off of a rea uh, realty site 
like Redfin or Zillow. I, I guess it could be. I have no freaking idea. All I know is I've seen both pictures. Neither one has freaking massive ass snowbanks in front. So I know it wasn't taken when I was in cornhole. It's just that simple. Red plaid. Thank you for the super chat. Kiwi farms equals Mr. FFG. Who can time travel? Proven. <laughs> well, you got me. I tried to keep it a secret, but that's right. Mr. FFG is the time traveling Kiwi farms. Damn it. We had a good run. Uh, couldn't keep it secret anymore, I suppose. Jessica E, thank you for the super chat. Here's me supporting this. <laughs> you fucking hate monger. <laughs> Chantala ain't no bala. Thank you again for the super chat. 100% believe Booty Booty posted that pic on Kiwi Farms. Could be. Could be. Who knows? She's nuts enough. She probably wouldn't even know how to, though. <laughs> She's just a moron who literally doxed her mom's address the other night because she was so excited to order her food. She forgot to mute like a moron. Booty thing. Thank you for the super chat. In jobless seven months and just got one. Hey, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Yay. Ooh, you're going to have a great weekend. You know that weekend when you know you're starting a new job and it's like, oh crap, this is my weekend. I got to take advantage of this weekend. It's a good weekend. Enjoy. Oceana song. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Frenchie, you have mystical powers. It seems like I do. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've hacked the mainframe. I drive the Google car but I drive it backwards in time. It's a lot. I'm a, I'm a full-time stalker who's able to get from city to city for all these public events. <laughs> I stalk all the Soros as if anyone gives a fuck, you know? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> okay. So that's what went on today. She rushed off. She maybe called the cops, maybe was told to fuck off, and then maybe came back with that community tap post. Do I think this is going to shut her up? No. Do I think she will definitely be raging again soon? Yes. I'd be surprised if she lasted tonight, to be honest. We'll see. But she has promised to stop raging and stop talking about this and that a thousand times. Never fucking stopped it before. Never even slowed her down. Miss Katz, thank you for the super chat. It's really something else, isn't it? Beauty queen. <laughs> Graveyard flowers, thank you for the super chat. Come on, cam up. Show us you're really streaming from the Bastille. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, maybe I am. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Let's go back in time. Now, like I said, this whole fucking stupid shit popped off because of our uh, thumbnail today, which had the picture from Kiwi Farms, the fucking Google Street View picture. Why was it so important to put up that picture today and to show that, yeah, there's no snow in the picture. There's a pumpkin out front of the neighbor's house and blah, blah, and the the license plates are all blurred out because of what this ham planet had to say about me last night. So now we're going to go back in time to the later stream from last night with timestamp, of course, and we will dip out when it gets boring. Okay. Uh, although I do think she raged up until the end. I think she might've been going till the end. Anyway, anyway, we'll skip ahead. Diana Lynn, thank you for the super chat girl. All right, let me get the tab and we're going back in time, you know, cause I can do that. Ah, uh, yes, I do have timestamps. Before we get into the main timestamp, the main timestamp, the main event, uh, I just want us to notice here, this is just a quick little minute of BBJ eating her food last night. Now, having gone through the end of life of my dogs, but Ollie specifically with the no eating and the, just the, the cycle of it and being able to recognize like the end and a pet who's given up and things like that. You tell me if the gusto that this little witch is eating that food tells you that the cat is near the end and doesn't want to live. But it's getting there, okay? It's getting there. <laughs> um, BBJ is eating her bee. Her, she loves whiskers, so whoever bought it for her. These are all clean dishes. They're getting given away. So I'm just taking them out to organize them for whoever gets them. She's been eating very well. This is her second portion. And she had some crunchies and that's her glass of water because sometimes she gets bored of the dishes, the bowls. So I have to change. I don't know. I've had her for like 20 years. So I just know when she gets bored of her drinking dish. So 
eh, drinking dish, whatever. At least it has water. That's all I got to say. Here's what this food situation tells me. It tells me two things. Number one, that cat has a great appetite. Look at her eating. She's not even distracted. She is fucking going to town on that food. A little harder than I've ever seen her eat before. That tells me she was very, very hungry when she finally got this food. That's really sad. Really, really sad. But besides the fact that she was very hungry when she probably finally got this food, just watching the way that this cat is eating, it's one of the first questions. And anybody who knows who's been through the end with an animal, one of the questions they will ask you is, how are they eating? Are they still eating well? What are you going to lie to the vet and say, oh, no, she's not enjoying her food. Look at her. She is fucking living. She's my spirit animal fucking inhaling that food right now. That is not a cat who's ready to go, let's say. That's a cat who's still got plenty of spunk and plenty of life. Bonnie girl, thank you for the super chat. I always give her a Diego. Hi, Aisha. By the way, I can't wait for your live stream at 1030. <laughs> um, great job. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back to being a housewife over there soon. <laughs> And I'll make you this. This is easy. This is an easy dish for everybody. Okay, let me tell you quickly what's in it. By the way, I don't have any makeup on, so I look. Okay. I'm skipping over her eating, and I'm definitely skipping over her recipe because the last thing anybody wants to do is cook any of the fucking slop that you do in your kitchen. <laughs> so I got wind of the fact because I have a spy who who. I have, I have people who alert me of when, not just one, I have people who alert me of when things are dangerous or potentially dangerous or I should uh, pay. Oh no, pissy poo smelt danger. And she's like, let me alert the queen. Pay attention to them because when I have as much hate, yes, then. Okay, let me get it up. <laughs> I love that song. Start the enemies, yes, but this is. Sophia, thank you for the super chat. Different. This is not just online hate or criticism or whatever it's like out of this world um next level whatever it's next level stuff okay and just for the context because we are working our way backwards tonight keep in mind that this all this shit that's about to come out of her mouth the thumbnail that she's so butthurt about today didn't even exist yet there was no thumbnail this butthurt bitch is this mad because some idiot went into her chat and said, FFG posted up a picture of your mother's house on Kiwi Farms? It's criminal. It's like legit. I don't know if it's criminal. To me, it should be. But all right. Basically, I need hot sauce. I got wind that somebody drove by my mom's house when her car was in the driveway. I noticed not when my car was in the driveway or when I was there because I would have kicked your butt. But... Ma'am, what is that again? A threat? And and like a dream also. In what stretch of your imagination do you think that would ever happen? <laughs> like it's it's just laughable. Girl, stop it. If I had driven by and your car was there, what you would have waddled outside and kicked my ass? I don't think so. You would have been out of breath. We saw your walk this morning. How would you even lift your arm to swing at me? Katie, thank you for the super chat. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, if they would have got out of the car instead of just cowardly driving by it and taking a picture, somebody drove by my mom's house when her car was in the driveway and took a picture of it and posted it online on Kiwi Farms. Like, ooh, how badass. I mean, it's just so, like, insane. And, and you know what? That's the day FFG was there. No, it absolutely was not. And again, that's why I posted it up on the on the thumbnail today. That was not the JFFG was there. FFG was there a few days ago with the snow banks everywhere and fucking. What is wrong with that city? There's no snow removal. It's amazing to me in Corinth. They just leave it. Just fucking snow everywhere and they leave it and nobody parks on the street. I don't understand this. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Point is, that was the condition of Corinth when I went the other day. There certainly wasn't grass visible or a pumpkin. Come on, like. Or I guess I guess there could still be pumpkins, but that those pumpkins would be so rotten by now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love it, Stan. I know I don't seem concerned, but I am. Like, <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. 
Shayla, thank you so much for the super chat. Thanks for being here. And I hope you and your hubby have a, a lovely weekend. I love when people come out of the shadows. It's fun. Exactly. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's FFG because I have no proof, but who else? Actually, you've already said it a few times and you're going to go on to keep saying it. You have absolutely no proof. And if you would open your fucking fat eyes and take a look at the picture yourself, you would see that it's actually impossible. So don't just listen to pissy poo. She's a fucking moron. Goes to play. Like, oh, wait a minute. I called her a fucking moron. Is she going to go and cry about it? You're going to make a video and fucking cry about it, pissy poo? No one cares at all. You're pathetic track record she's been places i've been several times she's been to cornwall several times for what to hang out with my ex-best friend more creepy behavior <laughs> the several times that i went to cornwall to hang out with her friend um the other day was the first time i've ever been to shannon's it's the first time i've ever gone to hang out in cornwall with shannon i've been to cornwall exactly one time before that and it was trying to get us the fucking monopoly game the court monopoly I got in and I got out because the city smelled like shit. <clears throat> Who else would do that except for her? Exactly. Come on. She was in Cornwall when I was there just a couple days ago. So who else would it be? Mm. There also seems to be a mega level of like jealousy. eh? She really, really is mad that Shannon and I talk. Shannon and I are friendly. This really, really gets under her skin. Ah, Shannon, you're here. Hey, Shannon. Shannon, she's so jelly. <laughs> you know what the best part is? She probably thinks, what are they doing? Sitting there just talking about me? Until we saw, like, got the notification that you were live and decided to snipe and ruin your night. We weren't even talking about you. <laughs> Literally, Chantal, no one cares. No one cares outside of you and your Shmi and your fucking Uncle Phil. No one fucking cares. James Christian Jr., thank you so much for the super chat. Shannon probably sends her pictures of your family all the time. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Which one of the morons said that? That's that's what Shannon is doing with her time. She's literally just going around town, snapping pictures of the Soros to send to me. She gets a picture. She goes cackling off like a witch. Gotta send this to Frenchie. Are you all batshit crazy? That's what she's doing. She's just taking pictures of the Soros. As if they're like the fucking pits or something. You know, like uh, Jolie Pits. What the fuck? I didn't know Cornwall had paparazzi. <laughs> yeah. Aisha, I, I thought of that. It's sad I, had to, I thought of that, but... Like, so anyway, just to let you know, that's the type of people you're supporting. That whole community, more, another example of how they're super toxic. But you're here criticizing me, actually harassing me to the bone and my family now because you think I'm vile. <laughs> no, no. Uh, very good. Thank you for the super chat. Inshallah. And yeah, Chantal, that's how you use that, inshallah, moron. Whatever. We'll see. Ugh, well, goodbye, Angela. FFG did say that Shannon and her daughter went for a ride in FFG's view. Google Earth is an aerial view, exactly. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, my God. FFG incriminated herself. FFG did say that Shannon, FFG, Shannon and her daughter went for a ride in my car. We went to fucking McDonald's because we were going to get nice and minty, me and Shannon. So we wanted to not have to go out driving while minty. So we preemptively hit up the McDonald's. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, do you not know about planning? Girls. Are we not allowed? Oh, oh wait. Oh, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to. That's my bad. Okay, we gotta take notes. Shannon, if I ever come down there again and we ever chill again, we gotta we gotta take notes. We gotta write down all the rules. I drive straight to your house, I park the car, I tell nobody I'm there, I take no pictures at all. We're not allowed to get back into the car. 
I suppose that's that's the rules of the court. Yeah, you're right. Let me block them. Babe. Like, you all understand. You know I make all my moves out of spite. So, you know that fourth channel that she's obsessed with calling my vlog channel, but I don't actually do vlogs, but I have posted up driving around videos? Guess what my next vi driving around video might be? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's take a little drive around corn. I love breaking rules. I'm also defiant like a child, like Chantal. If you tell me I can't do something, it makes me want to do something. If you're insisting I can't drive around corn, I feel like, what are you trying to hide from me? Is there something good in corn that you don't want me to see? Because I'm going to be driving around looking for that thing in corn. Just so we're clear. This isn't reacting. This is a woman who has lost her mind over you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Bubba, Bubba, loser can go. Hey, Blocks. Shannon knows. Yeah, exactly. She's mentioned she's got your address and she would come over there on other situations. Why not if she's in the area? I've never said that before ever. When have I ever said, number one, that I have her address or number two, that I would go over to her home? Never. Never either one of those things. Oh, yeah, you get on my nerves, too. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Bye. Holy shit. Wait, Shannon, do you know where the fuck rock is? The rock where she allegedly slept with the homeless guy? If you know where that... Oh, my God. Shannon could take us to all the, like, highlights of Quarant. Hmm. Hmm. This is the rock where Chantal did the homeless guy. <laughs> oh dear lord no are you kidding that is content <laughs> the google maps photo of your mom's house has a black car oh really somebody just did their research for me thank you so cut it out can it it's time to start pressing charges well do you think the cops will do anything Yes, she absolutely did. Chrissy knows it all. Didn't she drive to where she thought you lived, FFG, and sit in her car outside live streaming? Yes, she did. It was after midnight, and she was parked downstairs from the hotel where she thinks I live on DeCarry. That's not intimidation tactic. <clears throat> I mean, I can record it. <laughs> her blocking paw. Oh. Anyway, so that's to Athe. Thank you for the super chat. She does. She have a gang, but she even has the gang leader drive by mentality. Oh my God! Not only does she have the gang, she also has the gang leader drive by mentality. What the fuck do they paint me as in their imagination? Like some like ex con hearted criminal? Like, ma'am. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm a Jewish accountant for fuck's sake. I don't know how you have me as this like, international gang leader, but like take it down a notch. You sound crazy. She legit has adult women acting like teenage girls in high school. Hi, Chris. I want to be in the cool club. I want to be in the cool club. Sarah, Farida, all those idiots. I want to be in the cool club. I want to be. I want to be. I want recognition. Recognize me. Recognize me. That's exactly what they are. Just keep eating the rice. Megan's knees. Thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> I feel like I missed one stream and I'm so lost. <laughs> That's very possible here. Don't worry, soon enough you'll be living in the Middle East in privacy, and I promise you they won't put up with the drive-bys like Hamina does. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> well. Genuine question. I wonder what happens. Let's say you make your way to Kuwait, and you're there under loopholes and then like for example your fake husband gets arrested with his best friend because their business is fraud 
what happens to you after that? Do you just get to stay? Would you even want to stay? Do they give you a lift to the airport? <laughs> Do they let you walk there through the desert? Alice, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Drive by the <laughs> movie gal. Yeah, somebody drove by my like mom's house and took a picture of her house and car. And the person who said, oh, you mean that picture from years ago? My mom didn't even have that car years ago. So, no. 50 okay, here's the thing, though. The thing on Google, on uh, the Google uh, Street View, there is a date at the top of the picture. I don't know if that's the date the picture was taken or do they just keep renewing the date on an old picture? I don't know how that works. But I cropped the picture to make the thumbnail because the address was written on the top of the picture also. But just under the address, it said 2020 for the date of the picture. So I assume that picture must be like two years old. Well, three years old now almost. You know what I mean? 2020. I, I think that's the date the picture was taken. Do 150. She needs to be like told to lay off. But the thing is, it's the internet. There's no, it's so hard to control the internet. It's like almost impossible. Yeah, you don't get to control everything, narcissist. That's too bad for you. Uh, lay off of what? Making my videos? Calling out your fucking lies? Defending myself when you literally try to defame me the way you do? The way you have been lately? Seems like you're the one who needs to cut it the fuck out. Chantala ain't no bala. Thank you for the super chat. And before anyone starts that it's hypocritical, I'm telling her to cut it the fuck out and stuff. She can talk about me. I'm not saying, oh, I get to make videos and talk about her and she can't say shit about me. She can say whatever the fuck she wants to. You don't defame anyone. You don't see me sitting here going, Chantal, I think you're a child groomer. Chantal, I think you murdered an ex-boyfriend. You know, we haven't heard from BB in a while. Uh, maybe uh, BBJ's already gone. Maybe you put a little poison in her food there. You don't ever hear me saying things like that. We take apart the things that you do and say, your behavior, your patterns, your lies and manipulation. You literally just go for the jugular in disgusting ways. It's not the same thing. So if you don't want people playing dirty with you, stop being so fucking filthy all the time. So, <clears throat> you know, technically, yeah, she's going to go on. She's going to go online and go, it ain't me. Well, okay, well, I think it was you or Shannon or somebody because who else would do it? Who else lives close? Who else is a... It was literally that little putt putt, the little Google car that goes around taking pictures with the camera on its roof. Who else did it? Who do I need to call the cops on? Call the cops on Google then. Kiwi Farms um, stalker. Um, what else? I'm a Kiwi Farms stalker now. What does that even mean? Does that mean I do stalking to her on behalf of Kiwi Farms? Or do I stalk Kiwi Farms? I don't understand. <laughs> Colossal Raptor, thank you for the super chat. Uh, no, I don't think she has. You were in Cornwall when I was. Like what more freaking, the first thing they ask criminals when, they, when there's a crime, where were you on the night of blah, blah, blah? You fucking moron. You fucking moron. Where were you on the night of blah, blah, blah? Okay. Here's what they would do before they would even waste their time asking questions. They would look at the picture and they would say, do you not see that this is not winter? You dumb bitch. Do you need glasses or something? They would never get to the point of asking anyone a goddamn question. They would shake their heads, leave your place, and then talk mad shit about you in the car, on the way back to the station all night. Your dumb ass would be their topic of conversation. Let's see, you have two hate channels about me. You were in Cornwall, close by. <laughs> you know, who else would it be? Give me a break. I never imagined that there's people in the Western world like this limit of haters channels, people. I'm telling you. And just for the record now, remember that she got mad when I went to Orleans. I went to Orleans, she was in Kuwait when I went to buy the Jafar ring. She was in Kuwait. She got mad I had gone to Orleans. Now she's getting mad that I went to Cornwall even though she was supposed to be in Orleans, nobody knew she would be in Cornwall. I'm just not allowed to move my place at all. If I went to Lachine, I'm sure she'd have something to say about it, even though it's literally minutes away from my house. 
am, am I not allowed to drive? If I get on the highway, you know, the highway 40, let's say, uh, direction West, the signs say Ottawa Gatineau. Am I not allowed to get on that highway because it says Gatineau, uh, Ottawa? Are these the new rules? Do I just not get to leave my city or do whatever the fuck I want? I, I don't, I don't know. You came to my city four times a week. Luckily, you won't be doing that anymore because even when this guy dumps you, you're not even going to have that hoopty to get you back and forth with. Bloop. It's shit. Sorry for my language. No people like that in Kuwait. Sorry. It's true. <laughs> it's not legal. It's not legal. You would be in the, like jail. I understand there's like laws for some people like that they wouldn't want to live there. But for me in my situation, I definitely prefer it. I'm so depressed here because of like, I don't know, just like people like this. Yeah, that's one reason. Shannon clearly gave her address. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not allowed to go to the julep either, even though it's in my neighborhood. And I also got shit. I was called a stalker because I went to the corner of Dakari and Queen Mary, which was uh, deemed to be too close to the julep, even though Chantal had left the julep 10 hours before I was at that corner, my corner of my neighborhood. I wasn't allowed. I, I'm a stalker. If I even unlock my front fucking door. The only thing is my address is put, like online. Like my, everything is online. The whole audience knows she would drive by your mom's house. We know you're right. PNB, and they probably encourage it. They encourage this criminal behavior. So anyway, I will see. Tia Mac, thank you for the super chat. Even if it isn't FFG, she uses her platform to bully and harass you and she knows her girl gang takes things too far. She's just fueling the toxic, dangerous flame. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what, of course, Street View, and it, no matter what, this is why I didn't even, I, I knew this information for a bit, but I was like, should I say something? The answer is always going to be effing no from now on because it's just always something, retorting with something. Oh, Google uh, Street View. No, no, you know it's not, okay? Coincidentally, that fraud, she is such a fucking moron. No, you know it's not. Have you looked at it? Anyone can see it is. If you look at it, you know that it's from Google. Anyone can see it's not? You idiot. Look at her. Look at, wow, she looks really dead in the eyes, huh? There's absolutely nothing but an evil soul behind those eyes. It's really shining through in this still. Wow. Chantal's red wig. Thank you for the super chat. She can't wipe, but she's going to beat someone up. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, Bullfrog is in my town the same time as me, and the next day or whenever, very near near that time, a photo goes up of my mom's house. Give me a break, whatever. She forgets the fact that her dumb ass was ordering food and said her mother's address on live stream while she was at her mother's. So that was, of course, during that timeline. And then miraculously, a picture of her mother's house pops up on Kiwi Farms. Give me a break. No, it's the world's fault that you doxed your mother too. Oh, I could just blame it on Google or whatever. <laughs> like, give me a break. I don't have proof of it, but if you look at the track record, and regardless, even if it wasn't her, whoever did it, um, it's that whole community is a part of that. That whole hater nation, girl world, whatever. They're all crazy people like that. Okay, she calls me SpongeBob. SpongeBob lives in the pineapple under the sea, yes? If I put up a picture of the pineapple under the sea, can I claim that she docks me? She put that picture online. How dare you fucking put my home online? You're, this is a dangerous game you're playing with my pineapple, you bitch. Amethyst and Emeralds. Hi. Oh, I hope you enjoyed your vacation. What does Street View matter? It's still some creepy crap to post and say who lives there. Exactly. Exactly. But now nah, they're just observers. They just talk crap. They're not dangerous. Zombies following FFG the violent lady. <laughs> like morons, they are, babe. <laughs> and like people are messaging my mom being like, oh, we have some important information. Um, you know what I just thought of as she calls me the dangerous one? I, I remember just telling the story of like, oh yeah, well they said they went for a drive and we went to get McDonald's before I, you know, we were going to smoke because I wasn't going to drive after we had smoked, whatever, you know? That, that is the perfect example of me being dangerous and her being the good one, you know? Well, you remember when she accidentally <clears throat> puffed on her vape thing in the car as she was driving? Do you remember where she was? She was in the uh, the lineup of a drive through So she literally smokes in the drive through while going to get food because she was already too high to realize what she was doing. I 
go to the drive-thru before I come back and start getting minty so I don't have to drive high, but I'm the dangerous one. Remember that. Poltergeisha, thank you for the super chat. Damn it. You got me. You caught me. I'm the Google car. <laughs> Man, I really, I do a lot of kilometers, eh? I was in Cornwall two days ago. I was in Texas. Now I'm back in Montreal. It's amazing. Um, Sala and Murad's business, they're scamming her. It's not a legit business, blah, blah, blah. This is why these chat channels go beyond reactions. They are dangerous. They, they spread. Are they though? Oh, we can watch that video. The plan tonight was to watch that quick video by Bubble Tea. Oh, who put together a video about how, yeah, their business absolutely is just a cash grab scam. 100% scam. We'll watch that one right after this react. Read things that are not true. You should not be messaging my family. You people are insane. Do you not understand that? I've seen a meme on TikTok today. It was like, you know how people say you don't know when you're dead, but people still suffer. It's the same thing if you're stupid. It's, it's the same thing if you're stupid. It's like, it's please keep your stupidity and obsessions away from me. At least don't take it offline. And I mean, hello. I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> Ash no Fed, thank you for the super chat. I completely agree. Why do they care so much? Even if it's not working, really yeah. It, at this point, it doesn't even okay. It doesn't even matter if it's an FFG or not. She's still done. E hey, no, 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 asshole! Now you realize, oh shit, it probably wasn't FFG, or somebody points out in your chat that it wasn't FFG. You can't just say all that and then, well, if it was or wasn't, where's the apology? Where's the taking it back? Where's the like retracting what you just said? You fucking loud, my you're such an asshole. Just disgusting every way that a human can be disgusting completely no fucking redeeming quality even her going to cornwall to shannon's is messed up number one number one you don't get to dictate who gets to hang out with who she absolutely look how pissed off she is she's so mad that me and shannon are friendly girl wait salty fries it's back it's back in a big way now stay fucking butter i don't give a fuck girl knowing how much you hate it just Makes me enjoy the salty fries even more. You can't say it's fucked up for me to go to Quartz. You came to Montreal like four times a week. High on cocaine as you flew down the Dakari Expressway every time. Don't think we forgot. Okay, girl, stop it. You don't get to decide where I get to go in Canada. Unless I'm parked up in front of your fucking house. Shut the hell up. Number two, whoever posted it is really, really dumb. Okay, well, my, that was not the car, apparently, in the Google Earth view, actually. People say you're this bad person, but nothing you have done equals endangering innocent people. What have I done? Okay, so I ranted. Okay, let's go over it. So I ranted in Cuba. How how long ago was that? Number one. I was hammered. So, yeah, I got drunk, and I said some things I shouldn't have said. Some things you shouldn't have said. You were a racist swine for hours that night. Because you were hammered, hammered. She's really hammering it in. Girl, if you are not an actual racist swine when you drink a bit, you don't become more of a, waste, a racist swine. That doesn't just poof out of nowhere because you drank something. It's because that's what goes through your sick mind. It's who you really were. We got a great view of it that night. Okay? <laughs> Julie, thank you for the super chat. Okay. So... Um, somebody just sent me a picture proof. Okay. Um, so yeah, Cuba rage. And especially it was aimed at my abusive ex. Sorry. Um, very emotional. It doesn't matter. You don't get to abuse, uh, or, or do direct racism at somebody. That's just, that's not the way life works unless you're actually racist those thoughts wouldn't have popped into your mind you know what i mean at all um and another thing let's also just be clear you obviously didn't go through all the alleged abuse that you claim to have so no whatever the fuck happened between you and koki absolutely not an excuse for all of what happened in cuba sincerely fern thank you for the super chat girl emotional vulnerability vulnerability um abuse and a bottle of liquor don't mix i learned my lesson thank you has it happened since okay yeah one more time after that <laughs> but
but no, I had quit drinking. What, what else? Hmm, again, that was damaging to myself. So you've done it again since Cuba. So you actually learned nothing from the Cuba rage. And now you quit drinking because you're cosplaying Muslim to scam a scammer as if you could, girl. You'll be right back to drinking as soon as he dumps your ass. We know you. Lazy, thank you for the super chat. I cracked up and Shannon said in her stream, Chantal, what's with the pointy chin? You have a round face. <laughs> Those chin spanks are working overtime with this one. Ah. To myself. So things I do damage myself. Yeah, sure. But I'm not a crazy lunatic like you people on Kiwi farms who endanger the people of lives, bully people, spread negativity, and are basically... Remember, this is the same Kiwi farms that she begged to dox some of Koki's mods not even a year ago. So Kiwi farms, you love Kiwi farms. Oh, she encouraged everybody to go to Kiwi farms to see all my cases there. Huh? She loves Kiwi Farms when they're doing things for her, but God forbid she's stupid enough to dox herself and Kiwi Farms posts up a picture of her mother's address. Mm. Basically pieces of crap on this planet. Plain and simple. I'm not, I'm honestly not even mad. You can put whatever. What does that prove? Ooh, go post pictures. Whatever. Like, oh, oh, give me a break. Miguel, thank you for the super chat. From this. We, we, LMAO, we have our business since three to four years ago. And Chantel knows that. And they're saying scam. So funny kids. And where does this rubber band mouth woman, like I say that because she always like, eh, she's like screaming. Her mouth has no boundaries, like a rubber band. Where does she come off? And where's, and see, this is another example of why her reactions are damaging. They're, they're defamation. Where did I, okay, let me show you how this is defamation. If I, you better hope I'm never rich. You better hope I don't, don't get my shit together, FFG and become wealthy. I, I, I wanna watch this a year from now. I hope, you better hope, because I can sue the shit out of you. Sorry for <laughs> Number one, that's a big if. Your glory days of making 26 grand a month doing fuck all and getting high are long over with, girl. Just shut up. <laughs> But I don't even know what to say to this. Lawsuit, lawsuit. Shut your face. Jamie, thank you for the super chat. For my language. All right. Because, for example, her spreading her spreading a rumor, let's say that I gave Salah $9,000. Excuse me? Excuse me? I started some rumor that you gave Salad $9,000? No, wait, that was Salad's ex-friend who told everybody that you gave him $9,000. I didn't come up with that. Alice said that. That's my fault too? Everything's my fault. I'm also responsible for what Alice says. Oh, okay, I see. What? Where does that information even come from? Where? Where? Alice! In her butt, that's where. Um. So then people go and they email my trustee for example, and cause crap in my real life. Again, what the fuck does that have to do with me? Absolutely nothing. I wasn't the one who found out that you had the two bankruptcies. I wasn't the one who put up your, you know, the, the trustee's name and all the shit about your bankruptcies. That had nothing to do with me, literally. So what Alice says is my fault. What other reaction channels either come up with, put online, talk about, that's also my fault? I'm somehow in control of what other people do online too? Okay. <sighs> Kai, thank you for the super chat. Like, hello. That's totally an effect of how defamation affects my personal life. So there's so many things. Oh man, I could, I wish, I hope. <laughs> I hope, inshallah. I was doing a 12 day challenge. What happened to the 12 day challenge? Just stop at day five. Why? Because you were getting stuck. Well, just so you know, if you ever even wasted your time, you would waste your time, waste your money. You'll end up paying my lawyer fees. I'll end up getting damages from you. You don't have fuck all to take for damages. I'll take your fucking CPAP. How's that? <laughs> just out of spite, I'm taking the fucking CPAP. You better watch out. You need it to stay alive. Your breathing machine, your life-saving medical device. I don't know. I don't even watch her fall. I haven't even been to her channel. I didn't even, I don't even, I didn't even know she still posted. 
they're all low down and dirty, but preach morality and standards. Yeah, like that Farida lady, Christian woman, Christian woman who um does what she does every day, criticizing other people. And uh, like, she, like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? What the fuck does religion have to do with it? Christian woman, a Christian woman, I say. Shut up. <laughs> Look at yourself. Hi, Mr. Moo. <laughs> There's way too much crap about FFG being not normal. No one stalks someone this much. Real people with jobs don't follow others every move. I hope you can get away from all this negativity. Thank you, Vox. I can. I mean, at the end of the day, I, I really just like, you know, obviously I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing and usually pretty happy. So, I mean, you know, like in the grand scheme of things, whatever, it's trivial. Like, I'm not going to let it affect me. It's not going to. Don't let it affect you. Isn't it funny? She shits all around jobs, people with jobs. <laughs> because I invested in myself during the pandemic, at the beginning of the pandemic, finished what I had started in fucking school, became the accountant that I, I don't should say I always wanted to be. That sounds kind of whack, but I like it, whatever. <laughs> um, so instead of her claiming to be an English major and just wasting whatever money on probably half a semester before she dropped out, God only knows, and did nothing but seen, I seen, huh? uh, sliding doors could have been if you had actually completed that education, done something with it, done so well at your side hustle that you could gamble a little bit as a 38 year old, you know what I mean? Take that gamble on yourself and start your own fucking business where, yeah, you don't have to work for the men five days a week, two days a week is plenty for me. Thank you very much. Now I work for myself the other three days. It's a glorious thing. If it works, it could be fantastic. And so far, so good. If you had finished your English degree that you flex on people with, you could be doing like editing for someone now, proofreading for someone now, all kinds of things you could have done with those things to work for yourself, make more money than working for the man and live in a good life. But you have no ambition or drive or anything in you. Don't be mad at me because I play the game of life a little better than you do why are they messaging your mom <laughs> how do they know her phone number no they do on on facebook they stalk my family's social media i want pierogi and another thing the irony that as tax season comes up me as the accountant gets ready to make a shit ton of money doing all kinds of papers mm? while she literally gets ready to run to kuwait to evade <laughs> love that for both of us sliding doors bitch Lori thank you for the super chat please what do people even know why do people even know you have a trustee because some weird reaction channel with weird eyebrows went and dug into even the trustee was weirded out by this um when like they told like went and dug online to find my my bankruptcy information and then posted it it got taken down on her channel because uh, YouTube was like, yeah, that's personal. Yeet. You would think a teacher and someone her age would wouldn't have any sense of morality if you're trying to teach people about morality. Anyway, here I am going on my tangents. I'm Jennifer gonna... Lynn, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Please continue to give us updates. I will for sure. I miss Sam here too. Like when I'm in the bathroom or something, I usually come, I hear his fat body running towards me. But like, anyway. Let me say, Chantal, I'm sorry. You can't just vlog and be yourself without people holding past mistakes over you. You're better. Thank you, Dr. Sherlock. Hope that your day was well, other than the craziness that's going on. Thank you. I would tell people to stop sending you stuff that they know is going to upset you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but it's like, it, it, some things need to be brought to my attention, I guess. You know, like if it's dangerous, they only send things if it's dangerous or whatever. No, she's, FFG's not a lesbian. Apparently she has, um, well, I don't know. I don't really care. I don't know her. Ugh, I don't even want to think of her having a sexual orientation, period. I've said it before. I'm a butch straight. It is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, girl. Olga, thank you for the super chat. I really don't. But she apparently told people there was a Mr. FFG, an imaginary one. Straight, straight from Google. Although I'm not offended by this, I do find it a little weird that her weird obsession with me and like the, the um, what do you call the zoomed in picture of my crotch that she put on her community tab last week. Now she's talking about my sexuality online. It is fucking weird, bro. Let's we'll just take down straight. What? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, you too. Goodbye.
Didn't you think it's time to drink? Goodbye, Mary Corbett. She was shaming the girls who can't have kids. For it is so stupid and racist and actually knows nothing about real life about her own religion. And she has kids. So um, imagine somebody like this raising other human beings. This is why, like, there's so many crap people in the world. I swear. I'm sorry, but it's true. Like, I'll never get that. Adult bullies who have children. I, I can't understand it. But it's a thing. It's a thing. And I'm, but still, yeah, I'm mind blown. Hope you're well. I guess I'm telling Please don't let it affect you. Like, yeah, sure. Thanks, Blacks. Like, whenever you have a child... And wait, wait, wait. What's she talking about? Adult bullies who can't have children? Isn't she describing herself there to a T? I'm confused now where we even... Why? Why? How did we get here? What the hell? Rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, yeah. We have gang signs. It's like fries. As if it's like fries jumping out of the box. How about just the middle fry? You know how in my thing, the middle fry is up? <laughs> That's our gang sign on this channel. And you're raising them. Do you not? Like, let's say they see somebody in public and they say, oh, my gosh, mommy, that woman's fat. I wonder what she smells like. Like these, you would correct your child. Would you not? Would you not say? No, you, you, and you. Kids wouldn't say that. No, no, no. Kids would just look at you dead in the eye, point at you and go, mommy, she's fat. <laughs> That's the kids. You don't hold it against the kid. They don't know any better. For fuck's sake, it, it's the most pure form of mouth that exists on this planet. There's no filter. There's no uh, beating around the bush. There's no softening anything. It's just as the mind thinks it out, it spews, you know? It's beautiful. If you, if a kid doesn't like, let's say, okay, Chantal's walking in the street, a kid points and calls her fat. Like if she doesn't burst out laughing, she really, like, what's the point of life? You are not living, like, you are so fucking uppity, man. Just relax a little bit. You would teach them tolerance. You would teach them difference bo difference in body sizes. You would teach them morality. Would you, would you not? Right? I mean, that's my mom did that to me. <laughs> I thought of a really funny story, but anyway. I um. But no, it's these parents, these bullies like Farida, like Yaba, like people like that who bully other people and, and do the same thing that they would correct their child for doing. These people sit on panels and talk about how fat I am, what I must smell like, blah, blah, blah. But then are you going to, so do you correct your child when they do that to try to teach them better? So then you know what you're doing is wrong. You know you're a piece of, you know you're an immoral person. You know you're being an immoral person. You know how, how do we even know what the Dee Dee's Arby's smells like? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's because of you. You went on and on about it for months. Hmm? <laughs> now you're going to sit there because you slapped on a hijab and act like the morality police over the subject? I don't fucking think so. And let's remind everybody again, we only found out you smelled like blue cheese because your roommate slash ex-best friend, now we'll call him ex-best friend, I think that's fair, ratted you out. Nobody would have known. We were left to speculate and I don't think anyone had gone blue cheese. Lazy, thank you for the super chat. You know what I mean? Anyways, enough ranting about it. Um, hi, Rebbe. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm okay. I'm just venting. I'm just giving my side, like from my perspective, how this affects me because like, you know, I don't really let it too much, obviously, but I, yeah, don't get it wrong. Like I'm not really affected. No, I am affected in a lot of ways, actually. Like, but I need to also like vent, speak out about it because it's wrong, you know? Mm, Farida's so rude about the way how she was asking Murad. Exactly. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. That's what I'm saying. Like the picture on Kiwi Farms, I just, I cropped it out of the thumbnail because it had the address where the date was written. The date's right at the top. I mean, again, if in 2020 I was going around taking pictures of her mother's house <laughs> or I went back in time to get this picture. That's just ridiculous. I didn't, I didn't even uh, do Chantal reactions to like April, 2021. So, I mean, that was some massive planning ahead. Yeah. Um, exactly. Like what kind of stupid immature questions are those? Like when did, what did, what did like you're Arab. So you must also know she's like, as an Arab, I would, uh, you know, I can't understand how somebody would want to be with someone like that. What? You're calling me a bad Muslim when you were, you're so Christian, but you're a bully. Really? Um, 
you would also know that Arabs don't ask each other that stuff. They're very respectful. You're full of crap. Like, Notice how she just like conflated Arab with um, Muslim. It's not the same thing, ma'am, at all. You know how many Arab Christians there are? There's probably other types of Arabs too. I just specifically know that there's a ton of Arab Christians. There's Arab Jews too. What am I even saying? Like, girl, girl. You can't, you, you can't mix these things in your mind. So, so now Arabs in general aren't allowed to say a word to you somehow because that has to do with your Islam. Like no one fucking cares. No, Muslims aren't buying the shit that you're doing. Girl, you, you need to understand that. Arab and Muslim are not the same. Exactly. Like you're just full of it. Get to a washroom lady, like let it out. It's affecting your brain. It's polluting your brain. <laughs> what did he think when he saw Chantal? The people asking that question are also not beauty queens. So what are you even talking about? Like, you're not a beauty queen. Right, right. You don't have to be a beauty queen to point out the fact that you catfish the fuck out of everybody online. You use 16 filters. You edit every picture you put up. Odds are this guy was not expecting what he got at the airport. I think that's a fair question to ask if he was surprised. Auntie M, thank you for the super chat. And uh, as I say often, Chantal, not every fatty is so self-loathing that if they were looking for someone online, they would have to change their appearance so much just to not be repulsed by themselves. Do you understand? So yeah, fatties can go online, get somebody, can criticize the fact that you have to change who you are to do that. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, if you weren't so fucking self-conscious, you'd be able to do it too. And you're asking a man, uh, the best friend of a man, um, Arab men, by the way. Uh, I, I don't even want to go there. I can't even. Anyway, yeah. Oh, you're asking an Arab man. We have to play by their fucking rules because she decides you're asking an Arab man about his friend. Well, if he wants to play fucking Patricia Thomas roles and come on the internet onto a panel uh, chewing the fat, yak, 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 talking uh, about like, girl world you know what i mean you've entered the thunderdome i don't know what to tell you if you want to be an arab man about it stay the fuck out of the drama patricia thomas patchouli mommy thank you for the super chat i know babe i see vintage so hi everybody i missed in my rants fg brags about having a job so she doesn't need the money by using her name but drags does it all the time hmm. so she does this in uh, so she like if okay let's assume she doesn't do it for the money like she literally is live. If you look at the times and the amount of time she dedicates, she's like, when I was working a normal job, this is why I don't have a normal job and do YouTube because I could not mentally handle that. There's no way. There's no way. Like I tried having a job when I was doing YouTube and it just didn't work out. It's like one or the other. So there's no way you're going to tell me that somebody with her dry ponytail and her crappy Adidas outfit she wears every day is going into a nice dignified office somewhere and then going home, lighting 500 darts and talking crap about somebody. There's no I don't work in an office, you dumbass. I do production. I work with machines. <laughs> you could never. But here's another thing you could never. I'm sure you've never had two jobs in your life at once either. Never. You're one of those like, and one of those, I don't mean to shit on it, but some people, they can do their like nine to five. They can do eight hours a day. They can't fathom the idea of like after work, taking a little break and then going to your next job. I'm somebody who 90% of my life since I was... 17 and a half years old, I've always had two jobs. Sometimes I have three things going, but 90% of the time I've always had two jobs. I do you eight hours somewhere and then I'm fucking off going to the next place. It's what I've always done. So no, me going out, standing up, doing my normal job that I've been doing years and am very used to those eight hours and then coming home to this and considering this, I mean, this is not a job, Chantal. I come home to this. I sit down. I roll myself some nice gelato mint. I flick on the computer, on my coffee table, sit on my couch, and get to chew the fat with the girl gang. It's a good time. What's the matter with that? <laughs> I don't get it, Chantal. Not everybody is like you. You know, some people can just do more. I don't know. No way. There's no way. I, maybe she works in a garage. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. No, I mean, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Every. Why was that a de She just like, maybe she works in a garage. And then <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, that's some kind of an insult. 
Do you know how much money a mechanic would make? A mechanic is a really, really good life. Don't shit on things like that. Chantal, you could never, you can't do shit. And the money that I'm pretty sure you're making right now on YouTube, you should be so lucky to be making mechanic money. Don't shit on it. Don't shit on things you could never do. Uh, and Iglesias, thank you for the super chat. Every time I go live and I talk about her, watch, she'll go live soon. Watch. It'll be soon. Just can you imagine having fuck all except for a uh, high school education that comes from Cornwall and you're literally talking shit about a mechanic? Watch. I, like during times when, like, when do you work then? Like, where's your work schedule? Where's her boyfriend on Valentine's Day? She was spending it with my ex-friend like in my hometown of all places. I don't know. I... I yeah <laughs> you've been a muslim for a couple of weeks she's been christian her whole life <laughs> a couple of weeks and i see laura thank you for the super chat I love you. yeah no it's not but it's just beyond it's like i do try but this is just like criminal at this point i can't mentally handle a normal job and i don't do youtube <laughs> exactly when i was working a normal job i was like you know i can't like the amount of mental mental and it makes you tired and you know what i mean Oh, imagine that your job makes you tired. Again, Chantal, some of us are used to it. I've worked consistently since I was 16. Like, it's just, it's a part of life. You breathe, you punch in. You know, I don't know what to say. To some of us, this isn't such a grandiose thing. It's very much like a normal, boring part of our normal, boring lives. You can't imagine it because number one, you're lazy. Number two, you're unemployable. Number three, you're, you can't walk two steps without being like out of breath and being in pain in your back. You haven't had a job in forever. And when you had them, you were getting fired from them and stuff. It's just not the same. Yeah, you're weak. It is what it is. The Recovery Collective. Thank you for the super chat. Unless her idea of de-stressing is talking about me. Sarah Jane, during that interview, her camera accidentally came on and she was laying in bed. Her head was too... No, I'm a movie cat. I put it on my community post. I know it's mean to laugh at like looks and everything, but I was not laughing at her looks. I was posting it to be like... Yeah, and that's another good point. Her last job was sitting on her ass, sitting at a desk all day, not doing production, not standing on your feet, moving around, cut, you know, like schlepping and stuff like that your one job was so much easier than my job and you it's all you can handle to do you were exhausted after a day of sitting on your ass at a desk like dude you know um you're bullying me on your channel for my weight but dot 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 <laughs> <laughs> lazy thank you for the super chat thanks for clarifying <laughs> where's real fat judy why do you only trash women reactors address it i don't are you kidding, Flop Era? Are you that daft? Have you not heard me trash Bug Eyes Monty? Give me a break. Don't don't try that with me. FFG uses Suave shampoo. She's hurting for my Suave. Suave is I don't know. I never I think I tried the Suave conditioner doesn't work good. You loved my boots today, Brittany. Thank you. Uh I'd be outside waiting for a beautiful. Is that a diss too? I don't know. I've never used Suave, but is that supposed to be some kind of an insult too? I don't even understand the insult there. These are right over my head but no ma'am i'm a pantene girl myself <laughs> well, she is trash you got pretty deep anyway so on that happy note i ate a lot today i want to eat more no i'm kidding no i didn't eat a lot today actually i ate a normal i ate like normal do you guys want to make fondue yeah and kind of funny seeing her talking about shampoo don't ma'am don't worry about what you don't need okay Okay, choose your battles in life. Don't be talking to people about their shampoos. I don't believe she works. Nope. No, Raylene. She has problems and takes them out on you. She fixates on you. Maybe she wants to be you. Maybe she's in love with you. Either way, she's obsessed. Ugh. CJ, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, you outed me. That's it. You caught me. I was driving around England in the Google car this morning. Uh, I can't make a move without you guys finding out. Damn it. has to dangle money in front of a man to go what what is flipping her name there's no way she has a job no way i work and have two kids and i don't know <laughs> who these people are yeah seriously 
Yeah, you see, but you're comparing apples and oranges there later. Oh, there's no way she has a job. I work and I have two kids. I don't have kids. I don't have kids. And it's very true that I, I assume if I had kids, I would not have the time to be streaming like I do. This would be like kid time. You know what I mean? I do not. So here we are. Isn't that fun? Beer store. Oh. Lakeside Bonnie, thank you for the super chat, girl. It's Chantal, Georgia girl, AL. I don't get why haters are in this chat. I don't either, Danilo. It's called obsession, I think. <laughs> Drive by fruiting like this step fire. <laughs> That's all she does, yeah. I don't know how you handle the stuff with Shannon. If that were my ex friend of that many years, I'd be devastated. Well, yeah, I wasn't too happy about it. I just, I tried to like, she apologized to me, like, in her way of apologizing. Like, she didn't really say, like, sorry. Like, I don't remember, like. What did she say? Sorry, not sorry? She didn't really say sorry. Why the fuck should she say sorry? Sorry. Maybe she was waiting for your sorry. Why didn't you just go one, two, three, sorry, and you both just say sorry to each other? <laughs> Fucking who cares, man? Manda Fire, thank you for the super chat. I remember just like reconciling with her, but like, I always felt like, ugh, like I, I never really got to say what I wanted to say. Like, I, I don't know. Like there's no trust and there's no, like, I just can't believe that she would do that to me, you know? So. So what you're saying is you're reconciled with her because you have fuck all else in your life and you needed somebody in the moment probably. But then when she needed you and called you from the hospital after having reconciled with you, your words, you blew her off. And then outed everything online again that she was going through. Well done. Whatever. I'm just over it. I wasn't like, we didn't talk about that much because we grew apart. Like friendships happen that way. Oh, fantastic. Angus, thank you for the super chat and the tea. I did not see Aisha's stream. She literally admitted in Aisha's chat last night that she doxed her mom and now she's walking it back. Wow like she was a child of a friend but people change like the more you change sometimes you lose people even that were important to you at one time in life it happens you know um and we were growing apart already anyways yeah monica i don't like bullies or bad people i don't like negative vibes i know oh you were growing apart so much that you went to her daughter's graduation or the graduation party i mean that seems weird that seems like something you wouldn't really invite someone that you weren't really friends with anymore to. Strange. <laughs> the Re uh, Recovery Collective. Thank you again for the super chat. Oh, really? Your husband appears cutting the grass, waving at the Google car. That's so cute. He printed the pic and has it in his office. That's amazing. Where did you go, um, Rebe? I don't know if you get her job. She is going back to school to be a boot bookkeeper. Whatever. We don't give a shit. Not laughing at her looks, just pointing out ugly. Ugh. No, I didn't quit my job to go back to school to be a bookkeeper. The fuck, bro? I kept working and I went back to school, but I didn't I didn't quit my job for that. And that's not now. Now I'm done. And it's not bookkeeper. It's accountant. Put a little respect on it, beach. Why do you come back? <laughs> You're annoying. On company time. Nothing good to say, just leave it. Oh, that was an accident. Julie, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. <laughs> when she started talking about money, I like how Murad said talking about finances is rude. But she basically blew it off because she didn't want to embarrass herself. He corrected them many times. Murad was like, I'm not here to talk about Salah's past relationships. Like, why is that even relevant? Murad was like wanting to come on panel to be neutral. And you think he's going to come come on panel and badmouth his best friend's wife? And does, do they really think? Like, he's going to go, oh, yeah, she's ugly. Like, <laughs> uh, again, you t people who are dumb torture people. Like Chantal's dune buggy. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, I saw that. She was driving with no hands on the wheel yesterday. She had her coffee in one hand and the other hand off the wheel, and she was giggling like a lunatic. She's a whole ass menace to society. Thank you, Daniela. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. She's obsessed with the money. Look, she has three channels plus Twitch. She'll use one video and edit one video down. I know. How, where Exactly. Where does she have time in a job to to run four hate channels? Like, 
oh my God, it's four hate channels. Now it's multiplying. Well, the FFG channel kind of does its own thing. It's very low effort on my part. We just kind of show up and we do our thing over here. It's it's fantastic. Uh, Frenchie Du was created because a lot of people, understandably, don't have like three hours to watch a stream on a weeknight when, the, for example, they work, they work maybe two jobs, maybe they have some kids. Do you understand, Chantal? So I was like, ah, we're going to clip them down for the people who don't have all that time to invest. I try to keep them under 30 minutes for the most part, you know, it's for that reason. The third channel that she's so pissy about, my vlog channel that she calls it, it's not even monetized. And there is no fourth channel. She's just insane. Where? And like, she thinks I'm ever going to just stop giving up on taking her down off out of social media. She's wrong. So she's going to have to deal with that for the rest of, like, she's on borrow time. Oh, that sounds like a threat too. <laughs> I'm on borrowed time, says the woman who threatened to pop me one. Okay. If you say so. So, you know. Anna G, you weren't notified probably because I go live too many times. <laughs> I'm trying to do attention on it. So, yeah. I guess that's about it. I just, I'll probably just be on for another 15 minutes or so. And she has a blog channel that failed. She has a vlog channel. Yeah, exactly. Oh, on top of the four stalking channels. Now I have a vlog channel. On top. No, I don't. No, I don't. A failed vlog channel. With that. The non-monetized channel that was just an outlet when Ollie died. And then when Maggie died. Yeah. Okay, that. Yeah, sure. Weirdo. Ice Cube Canadian Beach. Thank you for the super chat. She absolutely did. And just, just sorry, to pivot back to that. That, that vlogging, non-vlogging channel that she says that I, I said I use as an outlet when the dogs had passed away. Imagine if Chantal was able in life to come up with some healthy outlets for things, you know, besides drugs and stuffing her face. It would do you some good, Chantal. Take notes. Vlog channel and no views on it. And even her vlogs now are about me, if you notice. Like her, she puts videos about me on her vlog channel now too. Sweaty, welcome to Very Important Bees. There's really sweaty bees. I put up a deleted live stream that she had deleted only because I wasn't sure if she deleted it or just privated it. And I'm not giving her that chance to strike Frenchie. <laughs> so it goes up on the no name, no monetized, no one gives a fuck channel. I just wanted everyone to get a chance to see the deleted and we weren't going to be doing a live stream that day to react to it. That's all. It's not that deep. Farida was showing her Western privilege. She was overstepping her bundle a lot. Mariah didn't appreciate it at all. Magical cannibalist. Thank you for the super chat, girl. You're a true gentleman, so let me know. Um, <laughs> Mr. Moo, you're a true gentleman, Salah. We know that you will do take care of Chantal. You guys are meant for one another. Thank you. Yes. She would be lost. She would have nothing. Nothing. Here, sweaty beezer. How many times we said we we own two branches of a company? Stop lying. Yeah, they know you do, babe. They know they're just they have to make they have to make drama for nothing. They don't even care. Like all they care about is making money off of like lies. They don't even care about the, how it affects the other person. So why even be like what kind of purpose of, is that in life where you have no like moral ambition to like be a better person or to like I don't know like it's sure it's money but it's dirty. Have that money like <laughs> have that money, honey. Uh -uh. No. Oh, it's Chacham. <laughs> money. She doesn't like him money. She's been raging and accusing me of murdering dogs and stuff to try to drum up views on her channel for the coins. But she now, the pious one in the hijab, has a problem with money. She doesn't like that dirty, dirty money. Girl, you're starting to sound like your crackhead. Take it down a notch. Some idiot. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Nope. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, babe. 60 cigarettes. Um, yeah, babe, honestly, that rumor about the business is so stupid. It doesn't even like, I knew I had a feeling I'm like, watch Morag will come on. And then there will be like, maybe like the next day, but well, maybe a couple days later, I guess there will be people um, making up all these stupid things about him. <laughs> about but what's made up? Bunny T's video is amazing i mean there's nothing made up it's literally you you're you're going along with her on the screen we're gonna watch that at the end of this okay 
I, she's not sitting there just talking to the camera. You see the whole thing. Like, you girl. So even when the, the proof is right in front of you on video, that's made up too? It's all bullshit. Okay. Fraud. <laughs> oh. FFG, has Chantal followed through with her second more expensive tier of members-only streams? No, she has not. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> so, but whatever. You have to stop trying to figure out why people do what they do. It's futile. Yeah. I agree. Because it is futile. That's the, that's the problem, I guess. It is. <laughs> You're right. Um, we're trying to give her positive vibes, not negative. Yeah. Hello, Lollipop. Oh, that's interesting. Asada repurposed. Thank you for the super chat. So Salad was here as Tony, the businessman, met Foodie Beauty, saw a great mark, got her to Kuwait for wife. So she turned over everything she thinks a wife should do. Lying to the Listen, 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 listen. I stand by, I do not think that Salad and Tony are the same person. And those pictures, the only thing that, okay, they look similar. Tony looks similar to him from the back, let's say, and there was a red light. If you focus, really focus on the back of the head, the hairline, and the size of the ear, it's not the same person. It just isn't. I understand everyone. Listen, I love a conspiracy too. I would have loved it to be. But when you really look at it, it's just not the same person. So what are you guys doing? In my opinion. Good Pretty good. It's one of my favorite chicken dishes. I guess I'll have the rest for, you know. Uh, just be happy and remain calm, cool, and collected. You'll never weak when you're, you're never weaker than when you're angry. That's so true. Salah's business is none of my business. Thank you, Sherry, Sharon Eubanks. <laughs> it's so true. Most of everything about what's being said about us is none of anyone's business, actually. Did you guys hear that hungry fat chicks in a coma? Uh, I thought she was getting out of the hospital the last I heard. Ala is out here and we're posting his cash app. I know. You don't get any negativity from this house. Thank you. That's I know. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Listen, we won't get any attempted B&Es, but it'll still be amazing content while she loses her shit and can't go peeping in windows. Little northern chick. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Bats Chaos. I appreciate that. You're ha oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Daniela. Happy birthday to you. I hope the haters understand that, Sharon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, flirty Urshi. No, thank you for the super chat. She's at home. Let's start talking about stuff that's more positive. I had a really stressful week. I think a lot of people have. They're the bosses. Britney is me. And it's not like a huge company or anything, but so what? Like, whatever. It's his. It's his. Unfortunately, you know that the haters don't care. They will hate no matter what you or Chantel do. Yeah. And I heard your mama say, like, the hate about the cats was never about the cats. And he, like, that nailed it. That was the whole thing right there. It oh, that nailed it. Why? Because he said what you wanted him to say. He's as stupid as you are. And I stand by that. Your mama is a fucking idiot. Your mama has no place in this goddamn community, in my opinion. If it's comedic, fine. Stay over there telling you jokes, okay? Because that's all you got is fucking jokes. You don't know jack shit about what has gone on in this community, what goes on in this community, and you have the audacity to sit on your platform with your loud mouth telling other people that they should do their research? Pfft. Why don't you sit on the fucking sidelines, do your research, and then get up and play when you're ready to play? Until then, shut your fucking face, okay? Nobody listens to a goddamn word you have to say, except for this dipshit. It's like anytime someone brings up a valid point, if it goes in my favor, it gets overlooked completely. And there's always an excuse for something. There's always an excuse, you know? And it's so true. What countries do we plan on traveling? Um, I don't know many. I think I said that yesterday, but you weren't here. Um, Maldives, Thailand, UAE, and maybe some European countries, maybe Cyprus. I don't know. Yeah, they're never going anywhere. She's lucky to be able to afford the ticket to get back to Kuwait, in my opinion. Ben Foodie from Owning More Pets. I love that. Thank you for the super chat. Great name. Maybe Greece. Hi, Sandy. My home is always positive. I don't even watch negativity. I don't have the time. Actions speak louder than words 100. Let's talk about fun things. What is everyone's weekend plans? Yeah, exactly. 
exactly black skin. Let's talk about how from now on, when I eat pierogies, they are dip, being dipped in the French onion. Hell of a good dip. No way. <laughs> it's better than sour cream, huh? Hubby's making hamburgers tonight. God bless him. He tried. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe set a topic for the day to keep us on track. <laughs> yes. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to like, especially when I get back to Kuwait, plan like the live streams will be more themed and more um, focused more on like mixture of doing things as well, not just talking. Ah, so more eating. We're going to be eating and talking. we got to mix it up while we sit on that blue couch and stream the same goddamn thing every day. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> she can't go back to... I mean, she's going back to... I have... <sighs> this is me. I'm, like, thinking out loud. I need to close my mouth, but... I need to just accept this. Listen, she's going back to Kuwait. It's over. Greece, her obsession is real, FFG. I know, right? Fucking obsessed with me, and I wish she would. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I got some hooligan cousins over there who would love to fuck up her vacation. Trust. Patchouli Mommy, thank you again for the super chat. But right now, I just wanted to come on and like talk about that, my concerns about that, or just address that, you know? They're grasping for straws, literally making everything a controversy. Exactly. But then like those things, like they interfere in my real life in a lot of ways. You know, I wish people would just lay off. Ramadan is going to help you with learning self-control and not to overeat. Oh no, it would be so, fuck the, the hooligan cousins. Me, me, I have to go. Cause she just went on that rant earlier in this stream about me showing up in her hometown. So she arrives at the Athens airport and there's me going, well, well, well. Welcome to my hometown, you fucking stalker. Oh, yeah, that's what has to happen. Mandifier, thank you for the super chat. But that's it's sort of a non-issue, though, because she can't afford to go there. Who are we fooling? You're right. Oh, Stan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Stan. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Enjoy, Monica. Enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good night. <laughs> Hall and Co. Hello. Lots of massages. Nice. Okay, I'm going to focus on cooking. Enjoy, enjoy Black's Chaos. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh, babe. I shut up, fake Dee Dee. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, fake Dee Dee. Looked at the timer for the live, beside the timer beside the live, and it said five, 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 right when I looked. I swear. You're 39 and a half. Uh, I don't want to say how old I'm going to be. Everyone knows. So I think we're close to the same age. <laughs> oh, she's just so cute. 39. 39. The roughest 39 you ever seen in your life. 39. I'll get a loudspeaker and drive around the streets of Cornwall screaming 39 out my window. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I also need a self-care day. Yeah, for sure. I want to make fondue. Fun don't. How about that? You don't need fucking fondue. She's going to make a fondue party alone. Damn it. Now I want a fondue party. It always comes back to cheese on a Friday, doesn't it? Damn it. Fondue. Fondue sounds nice. Damn it. Heather, thank you for the super chat. Okay, Rash. Have a good one. I like saying that. Have a good one. My husband gives me foot massages all the time. <gasps> Lucky. Nice. Good for you. I mean, I do. I don't want to tell our private secrets or anything, but yeah. I get massages too. <laughs> I actually like, like first time I've been with somebody who, and I love it, who just randomly gives massages or like back rubs. I gave up birthdays for New Year's. Gave up birthdays for New Year's? Really? 49. You can just give up birthdays? Is that a thing? She's like, I'm down 10 years ago. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit sugar. Thank you for the super chat. She keeps making up these stories. Yes, because I, I do believe she has no, like nobody to talk to on YouTube. And she's trying to intimidate people with information they already know where if you don't have a channel, let's say, and never had a problem with someone on YouTube or just a problem in general with your channel, 
Maybe you wouldn't know. Maybe you would believe her. Oh my God, I was talking to someone from YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube manager, there's nobody going to talk to you from YouTube. You're talking, There's it's called creator support. It's a little chat button in our YouTube studio if you're monetized, okay? You press that little button, boop. It's a very generic, they might even be robots. I don't even know for sure that they're people. They give you very generic like guidance, information. They can tell you like, oh, this is the link to what you need or, but they don't do anything. You understand? Like it's very limited what you can do with these people or robots. They're certainly never going to tell you, oh, I've seen that channel. That's a bullying channel. Are you stupid? Like, <laughs> but again, maybe if you don't know, you wouldn't know and you would believe her shit. 40 birthday fees, whatever. I get nothing left. I get all the leftover love. <laughs> You're pampered. Yeah, me too. Chocolate fondue with strawberries. Yeah, how much chocolate fondue? 999 people. Oh, it was nine. What does that mean? HD, am I okay about the cats now? What does that mean? Okay about the cats. 99? No, a cock, um, a cock, monsieur. No, they have pork. Hello, Vance Beezers. I have to go shout out services tomorrow. I need to prepare my shallow bar. Oh, enjoy, uh, Dr. Sherlock. <laughs> Until it gets 40 eyebrow raises from Sala for her birthday. Babe, can I have 40 eyebrow raises for my birthday? I'm not going to be 40. No, I'm not going to be 40 this year. And cheese fondue with crunchy bread. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> I have a hairless guy. She smells like cheese. Aw. I love playing trivia. How about doing some trivia nights? That would be so fun. Yeah. Hot wheel game. <laughs> Bye, baby mama. Have a good night. Fans, 999 is more than enough. Yeah, but it's like the it's the same number, babe. But yes, it is a lot. It is more, more too much. <laughs> that she says they are rehomed. What? BBJ also has been rehomed. What? What? Hold on, hold on. Jessica E, thank you for the super chat. Has something? Is there like a community tab post? Has something changed? a lot to me my husband gives me back massages a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> i can see what you mean the, you must be telling the truth missy <laughs> so she needs like greer cheese yeah you can do cheese fondue or chocolate fondue okay so i just went and looked no there's no community what do you mean the cat's not real bbj's still at the villa i don't know what I'm supposed to say about it. Like, Look within and reflect on thoughts, ideas, and actions on how you plan to change it. Yeah, exactly. Chantal is 24. <laughs> like, how old would you give me if you saw me on the street? Would you give me 40? Would you give me 33? Would you give me 20? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would know. give her, okay, I like this question. She asked the question. She's about to get an answer. I would give her like between 48 and 52. That's what I would say. That's my guess. Maybe a little more towards the 52 than the 48, to be totally honest. She, I've said it since she put the hijab on, really, really reminds me of one of my ex's grandmother. It's the, it's, she just looks imp so much like her. It's incredible to me. Um, you look 52. It is what it is, ma'am. One of my 30s. Thanks, Rebe. <laughs> we'll put a lot of items in saran wrap and keep folding it into a ball. And then we'll do that around the table. We'll bring something to put in it. And it's fun to do that to get little gifts. Really? That sounds like a 412 years old. Okay. That, like, that's fair. No, I don't think it's that far off, honestly. Fuck account husband. <laughs> no. Bye. My sugar daddy. Yeah. Once I turn 21, I'm going to go buy some alcohol the same day. Oh, no. Not good. <laughs> no, spend your birthday however you want. I just tried to make fried rice and almost burned my house down. I'll stick to DoorDash. <laughs> rice is tricky. It takes practice. 60. 35. Narrative. 58. Thank you for the super chat. Exactly. Five. Okay. <laughs> Mine is two years old, my queen. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I was hoping for like 27. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I look 42 and I'm pleased to say so. <laughs> Whoever told her she looks 35 is fucking lying. Does she really think she does? They're clearly being nice to her. Like, but she's buying it up. She believes this. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I would give you your 30s, Missy. 27, 26. Oh, thanks, Lex Chaos. That's nice of you. Lex Chaos, you're an effing liar. Right, I'll give you truly 29 or 30 maximum. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, you were surprised about my age, huh? <clears throat> yeah. ah, Stephen Arpandu, thank you for the super chat. Me, Beach. I know, you were surprised about my age. Aw. <laughs> so you think we look around the same age then, baby? Have amazing skin? Thank you. Oh, Salad, you're trying a little too hard right now. You think that you and Chantal look the same age? Pissy poo, you've gone overboard with that one. He literally looks like she could have birthed him. <laughs> Salad's red light room. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. 2023 was the year of the Galentine. You had a Galentine and a Valentine. She just had Buster while her parents went out to V-Day dinner. Bloop. I love that. Yeah, but not right now. It's like breaking out. And I know I need collagen. I can just tell by the texture, like how my skin feels. You want pretzels? I want peanut butter filled or cheese filled pretzels. My boyfriend is younger than Sala and I'm the same age as our queen, so age don't matter. Oh, really, Van Caesar? How old is your husband? <laughs> oh, your boyfriend. Your boyfriend's younger than Sala and you're the same age as me. You are more than beautiful. You make me want to cry, baby. Thank you. Shut up. And your beard. I, I, it, it's too weird. Whether it's salad or not, I don't care. I don't want to hear them flirting. I don't want to hear her flirting with pissy poo. It's just gross. So you look as young as I do, ma'am, and her great skin, ma'am. Salad, you've been next to her in the same room. Come on, you've seen her without the filters. You know, it's like Rocky Road. Look at that face. Let's be real. She does nothing to help herself. Wash your face. Wash the hijab. Do you understand, Chantal? Little, 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 little things, they would change your face. Mainly main, thank you for the super chat. The man, I don't know. No, don't know. thank you so, so much, Roll, and happy very, very late uh, holidays <laughs> and <laughs> happy new year to you. Why is it so late? That's so freaking weird. Man, you are a man. What was your reaction to Salah's height? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whenever you guys saw the video of him, he took of me coming out of the. Uh... <laughs> At, a, at the arrivals at the airport well babe now that you know we've met and everything and what kind of video you're gonna do another video of me coming in from the airport <laughs> inshallah well, he was standing there i finally saw him. that is so fucking weird imagine saying to your husband babe now that we've met and everything <laughs> awkward him and did i tell you guys about the the traumatic story of when i got to the airport i think so anyway so finally I find him <laughs> and we're on the phone. I'm like, where are you? He's like telling me what's around. And I'm like, I don't see you. What the heck? Now I'll know where to go. I have to go down that welcome to Kuwait thing. <laughs> yeah. How tall he is. Me. I like, he was like, I'm oh, just 190 centimeters. Like, I, I guess he was being sarcastic <laughs> because whenever I walked up to him and he literally, baby, I don't think you noticed you did this. Your little, your face is so cute. I always do that to him too. I grab his face. I go, you're so cute. <laughs> because he has a, why is he cute he has a manly face you know with his beard and everything and his features his eyebrows but she's not gonna finish what did he do what did he do when you walked up to him i was like uh, uh, <laughs> i was hanging on every word to hear what how did he react babe you're just so cute i walked right up to him the first time in the airport and he gagged a little it was the cutest thing i've ever seen babe you're just so cute he's like what <laughs> like a cat with a hairball mm -hmm. but he's also got like um I don't know how to say this without sounding weird, but I see the little boy in you still. Like I see your a little boy face under your man face. And I just, mm, like, I don't know. That's fucking weird. Who wants to see their husband's little boy face? I mean, 
It sounds a little like something Uncle Phyllis would say. VJJ, thank you for the super chat. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, whenever I walked up to him for the first time and we looked at each other's eyes, you looked down at me like, oh, hello. <laughs> and you shook my hand because we couldn't hug. Um, we can't do any kind of PDA whatsoever. My height is 190 centimeters and my weight is 90 kg. <laughs> oh, hey, Kay. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks, Flex Chaos. I'm totally, totally, totally in love. No one cares or believes you. <laughs> Sharon, 6'5". Your hubby's 6'5". Five. Five, that's crazy. I'm only 5'1". She's 5'1", too? Oh, my gosh. We're the same. That's so funny. Sala looks extra tall because you're extra short. Yes, exactly. Kelly Doxy, thank you for the super chat. Sala put food on top shelf. Stop! New diet, just have solid put food on top shelf. Babe, remember that song, What If God? <laughs> yeah. What if God? <laughs> oh my God, shut up. Why has she been so giddy for the last few days? It's so obnoxious. I believe she's in love. Oh yeah, she she's like, about this guy, but oh, it's just so bad because the whole thing is such bullshit. And we just did this with Koki. It's like it's too much, too much. Back to back, too sick, too ugh. not interested. <laughs> what if God was one of Shut us? Shut up. Yeah. Just a slob like one of us. No. I'm blushing. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Oops. No, yeah. I have my ears itchy. Eh. Uh, yes, the Just good old Why were you thinking of that? <laughs> That's, I love how you sing it whenever you go, trying to make his way home. <laughs> so moments like that, mm. you know when something's so cute, you just want to mm. flick it. <laughs> I opposed the video of 5'1 and 350 pounds because it looks a lot more small frame. Yeah, exactly. You're right. It does. <laughs> I'm blushing. Jess, thank you for the super chat, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so far behind on the chat. I apologize, everyone, but oh boy, did I just see one. HD, you think if the cops showed up, I wouldn't have started the stream with that? <laughs> Honest to God, hell no, the cops didn't show up. Cops don't give a damn what this one has to say. They don't believe a fucking word either. <laughs> what are we flicking? We are flicking Solo when he's cute. <laughs> And he says funny things. Okay. Shelly, thank you for the super chat, girl. My hubby is 6'2.5, and I grew up with a tall family. My dad is 6'3. My uncle's almost seven. You were always around tall people. <laughs> Rebe. He hides it all the way back on the fridge so my arms can't even reach in a chair. So unfair. <laughs> okay, this one has become boring AF. I can no longer deal. No longer deal. We're going to move on because we have one more thing to watch together before we end our Friday sesh, okay? There's been a lot of talk now for the last couple of days about how Salad's company is allegedly conspiracy, whatever, a just 100% complete fraud. There's no actual selling of anything, really. It's just fraud. So, Bubble Tea... Oh, wait, Bubble Tea. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta get the tab. I'm sorry, I was hawking up a lung. I didn't want to do it in your freaking faces. Okay. <clears throat> Bubble Tea put together a video all about <clears throat> the allegedly conspiracy whatever scam. It's compelling as all hell because you watch everything. Like Anyway, you're going to see. The whole thing is done with like screen grabs and stuff. You see what happens as you try to bounce along following these links or trying to make a purchase. Okay. So we're going to watch her video. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. The Recovery Collective, thank you so, so much for the super chat. I'm so sorry, everybody. I am so freaking behind on the chat. I've been trying to keep up, but it's uh, it's bad tonight. Um, so Bubble Tea's um, video link is in the description of our stream. It'll be there after our, we end our stream, even whatever. You want to go back, you want to re-watch this one, because this it's a lot to take in. I've watched it once already. I'm going to watch it now a second time with you guys. This is one you may have to watch once, twice, you know what I mean? But it's uh it's very very compelling. Hold on, let me get the tab.
Hold on, hold on. Too many freaking tabs. I really fucked myself up with the tabs tonight. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Frankie the Chihuahua, you got me. Thank you for the super chat. Hello, my loves, and yes, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Murad's very. Oh my God, Bubble Tea, you're here. Bubble Tea, oh my God. Thank you so much for this video. Thank you for making this video. This, this is amazing, girl. You're like fucking FBI on a whole ass other level. Like I was telling everyone, the link to your video is in the description of the stream. I, I'm telling everyone, go and rewatch this. This is like a take a winner. You, you got to sit through this one a few times and take it all in. This is wild, girl. Well done. Amazing. Thank you. Suspicious perfume operation. So Kiwi Farms has actually already covered this, but I want to add on more. To so if you type in Teeb Aldar, T-E-E-B space A-L-D-R to Instagram, three accounts will come up. Shayla, thank you for the super chat, girl. If you take the address, which is the same on each of those accounts, and put them into Google Maps, it will take you to a shopping mall. Once you paste the address and you have it pulled up, at the location, search for perfume in the same location, nothing comes up. In fact, you can search throughout the whole country of Kuwait and there's no Teeb Aldar perfume store fronts. I oh, isn't that fucked up? It's like, it doesn't, it's not even in Kuwait. How can that be? The fuck? What the fuck, man? <laughs> for real, for real. This whole ass thing is a whole ass scam. We're not even at the best part yet. But it's like, it's already like, oh, uh, like you can't even find this place. It's almost as if this place doesn't exist. And they're they're clearly just, what, trying to get people accidentally to type in the name of the actual legitimate business wrong or something? It's fucking weird. Additionally, the Instagram has 11.1K followers as of January 3rd. And going back to 2021, the highest like post has 91 likes. Other than that, there's hardly any engagement on the page. And most of the postings in the last year have a couple likes, but zero comments. Going so they're like buying subs on the Instagram pages? How can that be? How can there be that many subs, but no engagement at all? No likes, no matter. Sounds like bought subs to me to what make the, the illusion of having a bigger business than you have. Hmm. To make it look more legit. I don't know. Sounds like that to me. Serendipitous Sarah. Thank you for the super chat. Going further into their Instagram page, if you look at the WhatsApp number and you type that into WhatsApp and you send them a message, that will bring up their storefront. You can 
send them a message and then a little store button kind of comes up and you click on that and then you scroll through all the perfume and you basically just add whatever to your cart and then you hit send or something like that and it just automatically takes your money and doesn't really ask you like any um in, like instructions on shipping or anything wow what the fuck hi i want to buy some perfume Boof. here's like the menu take the money don't ask me nothing about shipping <laughs> okay mary l thank you for the super chat this is this is amazing this is like you need popcorn to sit here mm, mm. this is now the second time i've watched this video you, i'm gonna watch this at least like four more times until i even comprehend everything that's going on in this one So this is where there is a twist. So we can't find a storefront for Teeb El Dar, but if you look up Dar El Teeb, this is an established perfume company within the Middle East. Right. And that, that's what I'm thinking. They're playing on that. Like, like um, the equivalent of having an, uh, a website that's like, it's not Google, but it's like if you spelt Google wrong. Or you hit the wrong key while you were typing Google. You're trying to get people like almost accidentally to, to your site or whatever. That is so wildly crooked to me. Wow. Fuba Fried Beach. Thank you for the super chat. It's owned by Shoab Malik, who has 40 years of experience. And also has plenty of storefronts that are searchable and you can find that brand easily online through their website. Fucking crooked as all hell, man. Was selling knockoffs, selfie sticks. Chantel told us about that. So why is Murad and Salah piggybacking off of the Dar Al Teeb brand and selling knockoffs of this brand and pretending to be a legitimate business. I also wanted to add that back in December before Foodie Beauty made this trip to Kuwait, she did mention that she no longer had to stream on YouTube because she had other streams of income. So this will actually bring me Yeah, she totally did. You remember she like threw it in everyone's faces. She was going, um, I don't even need this anymore. I have other mm, streams of revenue, like an asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see how that really working out. You can have the stream of revenue that has you living in a little shoebox in Kuwait too. Wow. And doing everything you can in the world to get the hell out of there. Frenchie's wrong tab. Thank you for the super chat. Me to my next point, which is, is this a new sort of modern romance scam. So I just found this in a Google search about new romance scams. And I thought this really fit the profile about what we were seeing with Foodie Beauty. So it starts as you're on a dating website, you're looking for somebody, you know, to hook up with or talk to. And the relationship kind of starts off casual that way. And then they offer you a secret method <clears throat> a secret method for safely investing money. And this requires a financial vehicle um, to give the investments to them. So I believe, like we talked about in my previous video, this is done through WhatsApp. And the benefit for Chantal in this situation would be that she would get a large payout in a short amount of time. Or at least that's what her scammers tell her. This would also give really good reason to why Murad wants to defend Foodie Beauty so much, like we saw in Yo Mama's video. I also believe that Aisha is working with Murad and Salah, and there's a team of people that are working to take her money. 
So let's just consider the possibility that Murad and Salah are professional scammers. Does that mean that this entire business is a facade? If Foodie Beauty knew how to make a fake company and get money deposits without anyone noticing, do you think she would do the same thing? Also, I don't think that if these are scammers, they just found another victim. I think this is a huge opportunity for them and someone that they can get a lot, a lot of money out of if they play their cards right. So based... Ugh. Oh, this makes so much sense. Like, this is it. I'm following along. 100% bubble tea. Thank you for the super chat. Again, thank you so much for this video. So well done. So well put together. Like, you follow it. You get it. Okay, I'm with you. 100%. I think there's a second advantage to Chantal, though. Not only the, let's say, large sum of money that potentially they could reach with her. There's that possibility to get the fuck out of the country. That whole thing about if they have, like, a certain amount in the, their business account, they would be able to travel to certain countries is terrifying. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, a definite, definite possibility. She's got a passport too. She could be traveling almost anywhere in the world with a Canadian passport, bank rolling all that shit too. It was, it's just so ridiculous. And I think it's part of the reason that she's going so hard like an asshole on her channel for the last few days too. She's trying to drive the views back up. She's trying to make a little more coins. Yeesh. I've never heard of a marriage of convenience where the person doesn't actually get a payout. You know what I mean? This, can you even call it marriage of convenience anymore? No, this is like marriage scam. You're 100% right. It's awful, man. On what I found and what I've showed you in this video, what are your thoughts? Do you think that it's possible that this store that we found on Instagram is a facade. We can't find any physical storefronts. Only we've been shown their warehouse, which could easily be faked if we're being honest and realistic. Could that be why they want Foodie Beauty to move to Kuwait so that she can just stay at their house and not have to spend any money and invest it all in the business? I don't know. I guess time will tell. Oh, hold on. That's really interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Prada Nata says, FFG, Murat also mentioned that Salah needs traveling history. Ooh, wait, the thing moved. Why, uh, he, why she wants to travel. Interesting. Oh, my God. So this guy's going to just la-di-da all over the Middle East with her on her dime racking up the travel history till he can actually get the fuck out when she deposits that whatever it is 9000 kuwaiti things i here here's another thing okay since we're into it now i ha i have a thought the other day while watching all of this and seeing the rest on kiwi farms and stuff the whole thing about uh if if they had like something like 9000 kuwaiti dinar in an account he would be able to travel on the, like the, the, uh, under the like pretext of business, let's say, and it takes that amount of money. Is it possible that Allah knew that too? And when he told us the whole thing about Chantal giving him $9,000, maybe there was just a misunderstanding with him telling us that story. And what he meant to tell us was that Chantal will give him the $9,000. So he'll have it in his account uh, and be able to travel. It's, it's kind of funny that it's the same amount. You know what I mean? Again, I wonder if that's a, maybe a misunderstanding there. And maybe that's what he was trying to tell us. Tell, just like it did with her last relationship, right? So I guess we'll have to see. But at this point, I'm really convinced that this is a scam. One hundred percent. I'm with you. Bubble tea again. Oh, thank you so much for making that video. I, I totally agree. Oh, you put it together so well. It There's no denying that that's what it seems like. Seems scammy. Seems exactly like what you're saying. They've got multiple reasons to, let's say, target Chantal or, you know, pull Chantal into this. She's a perfect mark for you know, a, cu a couple of these scams, like, uh, you know what I mean? She could have the money to put in the account. She could potentially one day make papers. She could, God only knows, you know, 
Oh, girl, Bubble Tea, you were fucking clever, girl. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Chantal's wasted life. Thank you for the super chat. Remember when she said, yes, absolutely, that huge money making opportunity and she wouldn't even need to stream so much anymore and stuff. Those were her words. Tinder Swinder, wait, Tinder Swindler, Canada, Canadian edition, invested, bravo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oof, 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 oof. Well, this certainly brings a little intrigue to our story. I'm fed the fuck up of her bitching about me, talking about that stupid picture in court and making up all this crap. This, this is the real story going on right now. And what's going on with the cats? In my opinion, this whole thing and another and another thing, another reason. Oh God, another reason why I think that yeah, this is what's going on. We're getting like too close to the truth, let's say, as the community, and she needs a major deflection away from it. So the major deflection is calling the cops, and uh, people are stalking my family. She's trying to make it big, so we all look over there. Instead of looking at clearly what is actually going on. Ooh, it's amazing. We're not looking anywhere else. And I won't either 100% get distracted by this because there's still the case of the cats, the cat, cat singular at this point. BBJ, we need to see what happens with BBJ and assure that she does the right thing and keep the pressure on that. What she's doing is inhumane and absolutely the most disgusting thing. And that we will not, as a community, let her forget what has gone on to BBJ, okay? BBJ is eaten like a little champ that is not a cat who's ready to go. It's one of the most important things that they'll ask you when you take them to the vet and you think it might be the end or whatever. You know what I mean? You, you can't deny that that cat was living her best life eating that fucking cat food. Little Earthquake, thank you for the super chat. Anyway, so we're going to keep the pressure up there. We're definitely keeping an eye on this allegedly conspiracy whatever scam because it sounds like that's exactly what this thing is. New community tab post up that back All right, hold on. We're going in. We're going in. Hold on. Ninja Cat, thank you so much for the super chat. All right, where's my tabs? Oh, my God, the tab overload tonight is out of this world. Hold on. Oh. Okay, hold on. It's stupid as all hell. <clears throat> <laughs> Fucking idiot. I will also not be distracted by all these stupid attempts. She's trying to, like, be quirky. Here's what's going on. The latest post on the community tab. al Shaitan, the devil. Do you miss tasty takeout deliveries? Uber, er Uber Ertz. Uber Ertz. <laughs> Uber Eats is now stalking and harassing her too. Uber Eats, you better get ready. She might call the cops on you tonight. There might be a lawsuit planned by tomorrow. You better get off her dick. Ha! Just Jamie, thank you for the super chat. Alla recently said that Sal is still living with Chantal because he's in too deep financially. I didn't really understand before, but it does make sense now, doesn't it? Oh, in their minds, and by their, I mean Salad and Morad, they're... They must feel pretty fucking close to like achieving this financial goal, getting the fuck out, being able to travel and God only knows what else, you know, oof, 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 oof. We will keep our eyes on this. Absolutely. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Little sleepy bee. I'm so sorry. It does happen sometimes. A rare one doesn't even show up on the stream yards. I'm so sorry. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. I'm very sorry. It got skipped. Don't let her deflect, y'all. Her husband is running a scam. That's right. Don't let her forget. Her husband is running a scam, and she's uh, attempting to put down her cat, who clearly still is somewhat thriving, eating like a champ, and has the will to live, so should not be put down. We're going to keep the pressure up and uh, just keep our minds on track and not be distracted by all the bullshit she's attempting. Hmm? Isabella, thank you for the super chat. She said she would be a millionaire in a year. Well, that's cute. Toddlers also, uh, often have crazy dreams, I suppose. Let, let her be a dreamer <laughs> instead of a realist. Can't relate. <clears throat> anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for tonight. Tonight was fantastic. We got a, got a lot of good 
good stuff out of this. We got a lot of good rage. We had a good laugh at her expense. And then Bubble Tea comes through with the absolute gold video. Like I said, the link is down below in the description of this stream. Uh, if you need to, you know, sit on it a minute, ponder again, watch it. I'm going to watch this video, I don't know, a good four more times. I need to take it all in. I need no distractions. I need to understand every single thing. And then maybe start Googling myself. You never know what rab rabbit hole you'd end up down, you know? I don't know. If I find anything, I will let you know, but I'm no super sleuth. Thank you so much, Bubble Tea, again, for putting that together. Well done, girl. Amazing. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. Y'all enjoy the rest of your Fridays. Fridays are precious. And you know how fast they fly by. Whatever you're doing, be safe. Keep your masks on. And I will meet you back here tomorrow to continue on with the scammer and an attempted cat killer. Dun, dun, dun. Bye, guys.